At 8 a.m. it's our Sewing Masterclass uh, with Jennifer Taylor. And then at 9 o'clock we have got da -da -da, Linen Look, Miss It, Miss Out. If you saw Jennifer's show the other week where we made the fabulous um, bone and paw stockings, you might need to stock up on the fabrics for those. Now, 10 a.m., <coughs> excuse me, is your Christmas Sash Co. Yes, 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 Christmas designs uh, in all those lovely Sash Co. inspired goodies. And then at 11 o'clock, bum, bum, ba, yes. Well, it's brand new to me. I think it's been on before, but brand new for me, so I'm excited. It's the CAFE collection. Yes, yes, yes. Some gorgeous new CAFEs there. All good, ready to go. Now, this hour, it's the back wing dress. Uh, now, you might be wondering how on earth it's going to work here. So, head to the website, sewingquarter.com. A lot of you might already be watching. Head to watch. There you go. There's your watch. Head to watch. And uh, watch today's show. That will come up. There we go. And then if you scroll down a little bit, just to the right, message the studio. Get in touch. Tell us what you love, what you've been up to. Uh, if you want to send us a photo, then that's that's an email, which is studio at sewingquarter.com. But then underneath are all of the products. They're from yesterday's shows. They are about to go. Ready to make way for today's bevy of goodies. Hurrah. Yes. Oh, yes. Uh, now... Starting off today with linen fabric, uh, not linen fabric, what am I talking about? Jersey fabric. Yes, 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 yes. The bat wing dress. Oh, I've got to stand to the side. Da, da, da. <laughs> bat wing dress. It's so super comfy and easy to wear. That's your bat wing dress. Obviously, you won't have microphones and, and stuff like ruining necklines and, and, you know, bunching it up at the back. But... Ta-da! This is the dress. And I absolutely love it. It's out of Jennifer Taylor's book, Go With The Sewing Machine. We've got the fabrics for you here. Love this. Now, uh, the reason that we have chosen uh, this jersey fabric is because, look, you can see it's been cut there. And it doesn't, you know how some jersey fabrics, they sort of roll? Nah, nah, nah. So uh, this is a fabulous jersey. If you're new to jersey, this is a brilliant one to start with. There's no roll. A lot of jersey, when you cut it, will roll and be difficult to work with. This doesn't. Look at that straight edge. Perfect. And look at the price, even better, $3.99 per half a metre. This is your camel, coloured. It's not an actual camel, obviously. Just to point that out. Uh, right, navy is next. So this, well, do you know what? This dress is so easy to wear. Wear it to work, wear it to pick up the kids, uh, just wear it out on a nice evening, dress it up with some jewellery, some big earrings or something, and you're good to go. Navy is a fabulous colour for anything like that. Very, very wearable anywhere. Um, $3.99, and super flattering, per half a metre there. XZJQ41, yeah, yeah. Now I've got the black on. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Da -da 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 -da. Loving it, with a little belt, good to go. And the jersey, guess what? $3.99 per half a metre. There it is. And this is what I've got on today. Ponte Roma. It's an Italian jersey. And then we've also got your grey, which I think is what Jen's making this out of again in grey. Hooray! I love a grey mall. It is one of my favourites. Uh, so this, again, $3.99 per half a metre. Makes dresses super affordable. $3.99 EFJQ62. Um, if you need the pattern for this and the way in which to make the pattern, it's all in the book. If you've already got it, great. Sit back, just buy your jersey and you're good to go. If you haven't got it yet, it's Jen's book. $12.99. And we're with the, uh, the author herself. Look, all these sorts of makes. You might see her wearing various ones of this. All in there. Woo, woo, look at that. Modeling them herself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so that's all. We'll go through that in more detail, but we've got that today, $12.99. If you haven't got it, get it because it's fabulous. Um, and then you are going to, if you've got the book, you're, it's all about making your own patterns and not being afraid to adjust things and make things new and upcycle and have a go from scratch, all those sorts of things. You will need 
something like this. And this is your pattern making bundle. So if you're new to dressmaking, and I know there are a lot of you out there, this is a great one to grab. So you've got your tracing paper in there. You've got three large sheets there of your dressmaking paper. You've got ah, oh, some of our favorite rose gold colored handled scissors. God, it's a mouthful, isn't it? Uh, then you've also got your dressmaking tracing paper. You've got your dressmaking tracing um, wheel. And then you've also got <coughs> your trio, your three in one pen, which is fabulous. Uh, you've got white, a white lead, and then just a plain one for the tracing. Fabulous, everything you need, $34.99. Then, to make stuff with elastic, and we've got lots of that on the show, we've done a little bundle of that for you as well. So, you've got 10 meters of your shearing elastic in uh, white and in black. Then you've also got your braided elastic there, and you've also got your tape measure there, <coughs> excuse me, pins, and an air erasable pen for $14.49. Everything that you need to get going. Now, we will be using this hour because we're working with Jersey and the two kind of go hand in hand together. Overlockers, love, love, love it. Uh, and we've got individual overlocker threads for you today. So we've got four different colors. They are sold individually and you get a kilometer of thread. It is a lot, isn't it? You know, if I ran a kilometer, I'd be like, yeah, well done me. Uh, we've got it in thread form here. No need to run anywhere. $7.99, we've got it in white. And of course, this is Gutterman, so you're getting fabulous quality. We've got it in white, we've got it in gray. Do you know what, I really need to get myself some gray thread because it's the one that just disappears, isn't it? So if you're gonna go for anything, go for gray would be my advice, because then it goes with everything. 799 MOGQ38. That is your magic disappearing thread because it's gray. Yeah, it's just a thing. Don't know why, it's just a thing. Uh, here we've got your navy. And this is per kilometer of thread. I like that, kilometer. 799 for a kilometer of Gutterman thread. Yes, please. Very satisfying shape there as well. And then we've also got the black, which you can't obviously see against my dress. <laughs> black on black, there it is. Uh, so again, $7.99 per spool. There you go. But it's a kilometer's worth. Hurrah. Taking this. <laughs> Jennifer, yeah. my love, hello. Mwah. How are you? I'm very well, looking rather dashing there. Well, you know, it helps when... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, you look great in it. I love it. You look fab. And you're right about you're able to dress it up, dress it down. You can just do whatever you want in it. It's super comfy. I don't wear dresses on air. I don't wear dresses a lot in no, life. I know. You, I know. And, uh, and I love it. It's really comfy, isn't it? But also, yes. it's really warm. Yes, I've it's actually really turned nice the air con down <laughs> because I normally have. So when John's in, everyone's like in layers and layers and layers because he likes the studio nice and cold. I like it nice and no. warm. And I've actually turned it down because this is lovely It's a and warm. lovely way. It's really stable as well when you're sewing and hopefully that will come across on camera when we start sewing it up. It is a lovely one to sew with. So if you're worried about doing anything with a stretch, this is the one for you. It's so stable. It's great. You've Love been it. asking uh, for Jersey, we've listened, and we've brought it for you. Hooray! Hooray! And it's all in the book, the $12.99 book, which you just had on your graphics there. Mm -hmm. um, and this is the Batwing. Batwing, so, uh, it's comfy, isn't yes. it? Yes, yes. It's comfy. I mean, we're doing it in a, a sort of dress today, but there's nothing stopping you as per in the book, just making it into a top. You could just wear it as a top as well. I would wear this with jeans as well, as like a tunicky top. Mm. Very happy to do that as well. Good. And it's a great excuse to get me old cowboy boots out. A little bit. We're both wearing our cowboy boots. We today, are wearing we? like the cowboy girls. <laughs> we can't show you. Cowgirls. I don't think I'll get my leg up. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yeah, that'll do. Right. Uh, <laughs> how do we start? What do we do? Right, okay. So um, this pattern, believe it or not, is actually using just a t-shirt. So in my book, as what? you touched what on. Page? Uh, oh, I don't know. You're asking me now. Carry yeah. on, carry on, keep going, keep carry going. On. Just tell me when to stop. Uh, oh, you've got a lot in there, haven't you? There's a lot in there. Yep. Ah. Yeah, keep going. Bit no. more. No, that's... No. Too far? Oh, here it is. There you go. Oh, look at you. So the book is all about 
using your own body measurements or things in your wardrobe that already fit you to use them as base patterns. Ah. So the back wing dress in this, partic this particular one, yeah. we're using a t-shirt as the base pattern. Now, and is that a t-shirt, a tight t-shirt or a loose fitting t-shirt? It needs t -shirt? to be, um, well, it depends on what you're working with. So if you're working with a stretch, mm. then you can use a stretch t-shirt, but tr you do the trick where you pull it to see whether it's the same color, because every, every jersey is different. Right. So as long as the, uh, the stretch is similar to your t-shirt in relation to the fabric, you're good to go. Right. If you're going to do your bat wing in um, something a little bit more floaty and that doesn't have a stretch, then you need a t-shirt that obviously doesn't stretch. Right, okay. I'm with you. So like for like is what like you're saying. Like for like, okay. that's right, yeah. Cool. Full instructions on mm. there, which is fabulous. Yeah. So when you get the book, you, you are good to go. They're just... What I notice about your your makes in the book is that they are super flattering. They are for all Aww. sizes. You know, often we get uh, patterns and we all we get people say, "Well, hang on, it's not coming it's in a size for, for me." me. Yeah. this works for everyone. Yeah, there's nothing. So that's the uh, the Ooh. top there. That's the bat wing again with an alternative neckline, but in this case, I've made it into a top rather than a full dress. I like it. So it, you know, you can you can mix it up and you can make it long sleeve, short sleeve. Do it. Do a, a boat neckline, which is what we've done today, or yeah. do a, a more closely fitting neckline if you wanted to do or you can make this anywhere you want and hopefully we can demystify that for you today. Now I have to say the boat line is very flat the boat neckline is very flattering it's not sitting right because of my mic. No it's all right. All right just so that you know it does sit beautifully but I've got a like whack You're attached on it. <coughs> cool. But it moves with you. I like it. Mm. I like it. Um, I did realise why I don't normally wear tights on it. Are they starting to wriggle down? No, 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 I found another pair of tights, but oh, poor okay. Jay walked in on me trying to struggle oh, yeah. into the <laughs> two small pair of tights. It, wasn't, it didn't help that I was talking to you at the time. He can never unsee that. I'm so sorry, Jay. We, 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 we've, a I little, thought a little bit of his innocence I thought has gone. I thought you looked divine. Thanks. Personally. In just my tights in and a vest. Yeah, good look. <laughs> poor Jay. Uh, let's make some trades. <laughs> so, so you don't have to walk around in just your tights. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that. Um, so if I just move my little jersey out of the way, um, basically um, oh, you've got your little starter kit today, haven't you, with all your um, dressmaking needs. So it's, it's, it's always worth grabbing yourself some uh, paper. So once you've done your pattern, so in the book, for instance, with the, the um, batwing dress, I literally went straight to fabric. Did didn't, you? didn't mess about, went straight to fabric. So using my, my t-shirt as the base pattern, straight to fabric. But not everyone has that confidence. So do it with some paper first. So that's okay. basically what I've done. So this is half of my, um, my body. So that's my centre front. Mm -hmm. And the back is exactly the same. It's basically, um, it's, there's no difference between the front and the back. Okay, so this is your pattern for both the front and the back of your dress. Okay. Yeah. That's the centre front or centre back. And as you can see, we're going off into the arm shape there, and then you've got this lovely bat wing, Whee. which comes into what would be your waistline here, and then you can continue it down into your skirt. Yes. Okay, that is it. Okay, done, all right? Cool. So once you're happy with the, the shape, and obviously your T-shirt or you know whatever it is you're gonna be using, fits you, as long as it goes into that line, then you've got, then you, you're good to go. And then also you've got your lovely little um, tracing wheel there, which will add on your seam allowances as well, this which is, is always a good... This uh, all in, uh, the, in the kit, in the which kit. is down the bottom of your screen, 34 99 You get your dressmaking shears, you get your, um, your tracing wheel, you get your tracing paper, you get your pattern paper, and you also get your three-in-one handy pen Love tool Love the three-in-one. That's my babes. Brilliant. So I've gone ahead and cut out my jersey ahead of time for you. So there we go. So that's exactly the same thing as you can see. We've got the centre front and then obviously we've got our arm going off uh, to my right at the moment. Um, and you may notice here that I've, um, before I open it out, I've just made a, a very small clip in that top corner there. Can you see that there? Yeah. So that's basically telling me that's going to be my, that's the centre of my garment. Hang on a minute, have you just folded this? Is this on two folds? <gasps> no, it's just on one fold. Yes, two folds. So this is the fabric out. Yeah. And then it's folded again. 
So it's folded that way, it's folded down the centre. Yeah. This is ace. So there is no shoulder seams at all. So already we've cut out one line of stitching. Yeah, we've cut out one line of stitching. So it's, 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 it's actually on the fold. So that's a good point, Natasha. So you fold your fabric in half with your selvages on yeah. the edge. So they would basically be the um, your cuffs of your garment, yes. okay? Um, and uh, the reason being is because with this um, particular um, fabric, the stretch, you want it going across your body. Yeah. You don't want it going down. Okay. okay. So this one, there is a bit of give in it, but it's not, it's nothing compared to what you can get this way. That so says Christmas dinner to me. Exactly. That's, the, that's yes. what I love about stretch. Yes. Yes. That's what I love about stretch. So when you're wearing stretch, you want stretch to go across your body. You don't want it really going down. And the reason being, especially when you wear things like leggings, and all of a sudden you start getting elbows and knees, it's because the stretch is going the in the wrong, wrong direction. way. Yeah. Ah, okay. Right. So just make sure when you're, do, you're putting your pattern out that your selvages are either side of your body, so from hip to hip or from wrist to wrist. Yeah. And because of this fabric, it's a delicious selvage. It's got a nice length on that. It's and huge. as you can see, with you, you've got. I've managed. I've got really long arms, and we've gone the full length across the body. So unless you've got really, really long arms, you'll be able to get your whole uh, length of. You'll be able to do a long sleeve. It's 100. And how many? 150. Yeah, it is 150 centimeters. Selvage to selvage. Mm -hmm. That's a big old wingspan. That's a big old wingspan. Lovely. So if for whatever reason. Um, you wanted it, it doesn't fit that way let's just say your arms are bigger than the 150. i mean okay. I, i've put a little part octopus <laughs> i've put a little cuff on as you can see there which well, i'm going to show you how to do that in a second i don't know if you can see that can you see just to finish it off you've got a little cuff on the end of there but if for whatever reason you need to um, make it bigger, then all you would do is sew two pieces of fabric together to create that shoulder seam uh, okay. and then carry on, okay? Um, okay, so the black, this Pontaroma down the bottom there, 3 99 per half a metre, the grey that we're about to work with over there. Um, Jen, how much do I need? Um, for this, it's uh, two metres, minimum two metres, and as you see, that's just coming just above the knee. But if you want to go longer, then just, you know, add extra meterage on. So um, it'll be one metre from the front, one metre to the back. So when you um, get, if you're at home now, get your tape measure. So in the book, I talk about this. So when you, you know, you don't normally have somebody with you when you're measuring. Take the tape measure and put the ones and twos down and put the other numbers across your shoulder, making sure you're standing in front of the mirror, make sure you're looking in the mirror rather than looking down. Yeah. And then basically just keep moving the tape measure down and pinch it at your shoulder here. And then that way you'll be like, I'm happy with that length. Oh, and that happens to be a meter, I need two meters. If it's 150 meters from your shoulder down, you need three meters and so on and so forth. <gasps> you okay. could make this super long yeah. and swooshy. Swooshy. So, Two metres is what, can I step out here? Two metres is what you've got Two metres has done this. You have to bear in mind, I am nearly six foot tall. Mm -hmm. Okay? So you do have to bear in mind that, that I am a, lovingly known as a big old bird. <laughs> <laughs> I'm comfortable with that. Comfortable uh, and with so that. that's, that's staying there. So that's with your two metres, mm -hmm. but I am nearly six foot. All right, you know yep. when you, and that's, that often people will give you the height of the model. I'm not calling myself a model, I'm just wearing it. Um, <laughs> you understand. And you know, so when I was looking at a pair of trousers yesterday, it was model, it's five foot three. Yeah, those trousers are never going to look right no, on me because, right. yeah. So there we go. But uh, maybe get a little bit more. Yeah, you know. But then I've cinched your waist up because we've, we've, we've pulled it up to give it that little bit of I've movement in the way, and you've got a belt on. So, yeah, that, with two metres is, is minimum, and then obviously, depending on how long you want to go, just add extra meterage on. I think this is lovely, um, a lovely length for me. Um, yeah, for tights and for wearing the jeans. Yeah. Jeggings as well. Yeah. Whop them on. Uh, for busy Absolutely. people, easy to wear. <laughs> Done. It's just a really nice, relaxed. Fit. I love it. I, I like it. This is it's not going on the rail. I'm staying <laughs> I've, in this. I've noticed. I've noticed yeah. that. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to stitch in my side seam. So I've already gone ahead and done the one, but I'm going to go and do the other one now, okay? Um, so we are working with this lovely jersey, or Pontaroma. Um, so we're going to be using the overlocker. Now, if I don't, I do have now, and I've actually got my overlocker out. Yes! <laughs> and now there's no stopping me. Oh, um, gosh. But before mm -hmm. I got the overlocker out, and I was only didn't, I only sort of stopped because I was scared of actually threading it. Stupid. Um, if you don't have an overlocker at home, does that mean you can't work with Jersey? No. 
Not at all. What do I, what stitch Not would I use? Not at all. Well, in, after we've um, done this section, we're going to go onto the sewing machine so that okay. I can walk you through exactly what you need okay. if you don't have an overlocker at home. But this is so much quicker. Oh, I just love it. it well, I like to think of it, you're taking your dressmaking up to the next level yes. because you are finishing those seams. You're, in this case, you are cutting, sewing your seams together and finishing those seams in a wanna. You are now professional, ladies. Yes. And gents. Yes. You are professional. We're not, but so I, I feel had a professional. situation last week where mm -hmm. I had some stretch jean type yes. trousers mm -hmm. on. Yeah, they didn't have a seam like this on. They just had two um, straight stitch seams. Okay. Yeah, I ripped them ten minutes before coming on air. Oh, no. Right where you don't want it ripped. Yeah. So it's when you're working with stretch, please make sure you do use something like an overlocker. Well, um, you just need to make sure you're finishing your seam. So whether you're um, doing uh, your, your overcasting or overlocking stitch or your mock overlocking stitch on your sewing machine, which again, I can show you when we go on to that, and make sure that you do, the big one is that you are actually using a straight uh, stretch stitch. That's, that's the that's one. The key. That's the key. Because if you just use a straight stitch on areas that move, like if, it, if it's a... If it's, a, if it's a seam that doesn't move, then a, a normal straight stitch will be will be fine. However, if you're doing it on an area that does move with the jersey and you haven't done a straight stretch stitch, that's a mouthful, um, then what will happen is when you when you move, it'll just go click, you, you, all your seams will just rip. So you need to make sure you're applying did. the right tools. Yeah. So first of all would be the right stitch. The second one would be the right needle. Now you don't have to worry because with the overlocker, Cushing. forget all of that, forget all <laughs> of those worries. Just get an overlocker. Just get an great. overlocker. 449 pounds for the overlocker. You will not look back. It will revolutionise your life. It and has for me. it's not just for stretch. No. It's not it, everything. Yep. Anything and everything will go through this overlocker. You won't have to worry about yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so... Um, Everything is the same as a normal sewing machine. So you've got here, you've got your seam allowances on here. So it's your 5 8 which is your 1.5 yeah. seam allowance. So you can see that I'm lining up my, the edge, the raw edge of my fabric there with that marker on my, um, on my overlocker. And then I, the great thing about this, you've got a little, a little bucket. So all of your off cuts are going to go into there. So next to here, there's a blade. So as you can see, as I just put my foot down on the, uh, on the pedal, it's cutting the fabric off and overlocking it at the same time. So it's stitching and cutting at the same so time. So no raw edges. You've got four. Um, oh, no, you're going with a three. -er. There's a, a three. three. Three stitches. This is the joy of the overlocker. You can go from anywhere from two threads up to four threads. It depends on what sort of finish you want, you want. which is absolutely fab. Um, I would not be without mine. No, so it took me a while. Took me a while, but I now it. I just wouldn't. And it's, it's I don't break everything. Oh yeah, once you once you start, you can't stop. So you're gonna need thread, lots of thread. And um, so that's basically what it's doing. So you can see that that's right up now. So it's finished my edge. It's trimmed back that seam, and you can see that those threads have overlocked it. So there are no raw edges at all on either side. Of and them. look, stretch. <laughs> then it stretches. 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 No rip. No rip. No rip. Um, which is, it was that horrible moment. You can hear it go. go yeah, on. and I did, and I was like, right, where has that just ripped with my trousers? And it was in the most oh, awful, obvious no. place. Thank goodness lovely Wendy had just walked in the office. <laughs> oh, Wendy! She saved you. She did, and I had to hide in my dressing room because, again, I had no spare trousers. Oh, it was gosh. only that pair of trousers. Oh, dear. Now, the threads that we've got going through at the moment, um, it's difficult to actually see them on air on the actual once you've oh, they're all sewn blending because in. it's blending in an absolute treat. Uh, we've got them, here they are, ba -ba, looking lovely. And we've also got different colourways down here. So pick which ones you want. Gutterman thread, fabulous quality. And again, that's what you want. If you're wearing your garments, don't go with the cheap thread. Don't, just don't, don't risk it. Don't, we've all had that moment, haven't we, where mm. something's gone. Grey oh, um, is most popular at the moment, but grey is one of those ones that love you it. can use with so many different colours. Well, yeah, Grab it's exactly it. what that. It, what, the, what happens with the grey thread? It acts like a mirror, and it almost reflects the colour that you're blending in with. That's nice. why if you, if you really, really can't find the colour you're looking for, then uh, a grey is the next step. Well, you might just be starting out with your overlocker, in which yeah. case you might you won't have that wealth of of thread available no. for you. So I would start off with a grey. Start, start off with the grey. I um, think we've also got like a great starter colour palette here. Oh yeah. White, grey, navy and black. All mm. the same price. All $7.99 per kilometre of thread. <laughs> and uh, once you start overlocking you just will not You won't back. start. And I think um, it's worth 
just taking time with your with your over and what i really like about this one particular is this section here in the blue with the programming because depending on what you're doing you can change the setting so at the moment it's on setting two because i'm just doing a stretch knit whereas if i just rotate this let's say to four it's telling me that what I need to set my machine up with, which I think is great, because I think, because you are, whereas with a sewing machine, you just used to put, put your top thread in, your bobbin in, you're, you're ready to go. Here you have all of these, you have multiple threads, you might have multiple needles, but in this case, I've just got the one on. You know, what am I doing? There's dials over here. Whereas this section here is telling you exactly what you need. Your, your blue needs to be on four, your red needs to be on three, so on and so forth. And I just think it, it's, it's absolutely fab. I it's, really do. Um, it saves you having to have the manual with you oh, and yeah. it gives you that confidence to double check the thing that I have is that my uh, my three-year-old loves my workroom and <laughs> plays with knobs and bubbles oh, and, and everything no. so generally if my tension is wrong it's because someone's had Somebody a little, a little, a little, ooh, a little play ooh. with it yeah Go on, you were going to say got it there always as uh, a quick which reference. is what I really like um, and another little tip was is that um, if you are doing something I don't know let's say we're doing it in a, a vivid pink stretch or whatever yes um, there's nothing stopping you from keeping your, your bulk threads, your, your, your solid threads, whether that's white, grey, blue or black or whatever, in what would be your loopers and then putting in your thread thread into what would be the two top stitches. So you, you'd either have one or two, depending on how, how many needles in. So you'd put your, your um, the stitch that would be visible. So if I just bring this over. So the, the stitch that would be visible in that seam there, that's where you'd put your top stitches. Right. And then this looping action here, that's where I would use the greys or the whites or the blacks. So you, you, you won't have to do that. That's so what option. you can do is say buy four of the grey. Yeah, yeah. And then either one or two of the other colours, depending on. And oh, that's a much more cost effective way of doing Massively, things. Massively. And because the one that the, the thread out of all of these, the ones that are going to use the most thread are your yellows and your greens. Right. Which is the looper. Those yeah. are the looper stitches. Because they're going round. And that's where you need, you need a, a <coughs> kilometre plus of, of your thread. So you get your big threads for your loopers. And then if you are going to go for the more unusual coloured fabrics, then don't be afraid to stick in a normal um, coloured thread that matches your fabric, but make sure they go in the blue and the red section of your overlocker. So are we done with the overlocker now? We've done down the seam. So we've got... We've got down the seams. seams. There was no seam across the top. There's no seam across the top, but at the moment you can see we've got no head. So we, we need to sort of, you know, our head isn't that big, so we need to do something with that. So if I just bring this down and maybe switch it around, I just love this knit. But honestly, it's so, um, it's like sewing paper. It, we're, I'd like to say a lot of people get worried, don't they, when they start cutting into to knits because it stretches and pulls, and you are right, it does. And try and re, um, resist pulling. That's the one right. thing you really, really don't want to be doing with stretch. You don't you just, but with this, you just, just let the machine do the work, just guide it like you would do any material okay. and you'll be, you'll be cracking to Fabulous. Go. Right, Bonnie, well, you want to say something? Oh no, I was just going to say, if you've just joined us, all of the instructions for this are in mm -hmm. Jennifer's book. Yeah. Right then, so at the moment, there is no front or back to this dress, as you can see, because yes. it's exactly the same as the front of the back. So what determines that is now your neckline. Okay. Okay, so we're going to start cutting into this. So if you've got your mannequin, you could pop it on there if you wanted to and have a play. Or obviously, with your T-shirt, you could have marked out where the T-shirt neck finishes okay, and then yeah, cut yeah, into yeah. there. But essentially, what we're going to be doing, so you've got my centre point there. I'm just going to snip like so. Yeah. And then I'm going to snip down. Yeah. So depending on what kind of shape you're looking for, might go a little bit bigger actually. Um, you can you can do as as much you can take as much or as little as way as you like on so this. So you might have it coming down quite low. Yeah, if you and want you want just take it further down. Uh, you might have it, you know, nice and high. It depends on what you want. What you want. Um, so you could either go in with your tailor's curve if you wanted, or yep. you could do the the bendy rulers if you wanted and draw it out first. But I'm going to go old school and I'm just going to go in and start cutting. Doing it. Just doing it. Um, have you got your jersey fabric yet? Have you got your book? Have you got your jersey fabric? Jersey is just delightful. Oh, it's great. Especially this one, because look, it hasn't rolled. I love it. Now, with so many jerseys that I've worked with, it'll be a right old pain, yeah, and then you've got to try and mimic it the other mimic side. Mimic it the other side. <laughs> it's rolling no. away all over the place. No, 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 look at that. That's how you know you've got a good jersey. Uh, and that's because of it's sort of knitted on the front and on the back. Mm -hmm. So you haven't got one pulling it round. No, 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 no. So I've got my one side done. So what I'm going to do is take that other side now. And use it as a pattern piece. And use it as a pattern piece and repeat on the other side. So let me just do a little clip there. 
So all of these in Jennifer's book, if you're at all worried about working with patterns, what a great easy way. You know, we're not, we haven't got eight million notches or anything. Else. Should I put that in the bin? Yes, please. Um, or anything like that. It's all, it's all good. So all oh, I'm going to do that. now is just repeat that on the other side, but you can see that my back um, scoop, if you like, is a little bit smaller than yeah. the front. Okay. okay. So there you go. There's our neckline done. So now we do have a front and a back. And you can actually, because you've got the side sun, you could actually try that on over your head just to make sure that it's wide enough. Oh, try on all the time. Yeah, try on all the time. And then if um, if in your drafting, when you've done your T-shirt out, that actually when you've popped it on, you go, you know what? I want to go a bit more slinky. You can just take it in. Brilliant. But you know that the base pattern was your T-shirt. You know that the T-shirt fits you. You know yes. where it snuggles, where it doesn't snuggle, where you want a bit more extra ease or not. Not. That's your, you're working from a base pattern, so you're visualising what it feels like to wear that dress already nice. because you know what that T-shirt yes. feels like. Yes, okay. I like. Um, do we overlock this or are we done with the overlock? Um, so um, if we've got time, and I'll let you pay this uh, judgment call, um, I was just going to do the neckline, how you would create that, uh, that fluted or um, neckline on the top. It's entirely up to you. I can move on if you want. Is that with the overlocker? It's with the overlocker. Yeah. Yeah, let's yep. do that. Okay, yeah. fine. Right, so this is where you just need to grab yourself um, a strip of your fabric, and there is plenty left over. Well, gosh, it's, uh, yeah, because you've got all the side bits, haven't you? You've got lots. Lots and lots and lots. Um, so it's just about um, creating um, a collar now. So with the stretch, um, you can see that it's not pulling that way, but it is pulling this way. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to be folding it like that. So you haven't got the stretch. So we haven't got the stretch. Okay. Um, and that will help support that neckline when you're wearing it, okay? And um, you, could, you could go in and do a little stay stitch if you want, but because I'm working against that stretch, then it's almost doing that job okay. for me. Um, so what it's about now is basically you're measuring out your neckline so you could do it with a tape measure if you wanted to or just go with the stretch jersey straight away so again I'm working with the center back so I'm going to put my seam at the center back okay now do you leave any to then create the seam any yes um... so make sure you leave yourself your seam allowance so in this case I'm using the 1.5 or 5 eighths yeah if you're old school uh, and you're working around that curved edge now this is where it's really important because you are working with stretch it will want to stretch. And not only that, it's yeah. a curved seam. So okay. be very, very careful that you're not overstretching. Do you allow any stretch? And don't pull. I don't, okay, don't pull. just line it up as naturally. Yeah, so what, as... You're, what you're almost wanting to do is, is easing it. So you can see there's a little bit of bagging on that section yeah. there. I'm easing it. So it's the same okay. process as you would do anyway, but it's a little bit more tricky because you're working with the stretch. Now, when I don't have my mic on here, this this just it just stands away from the from the sea. I, I like it. It's, it's I was going flattering. for a Coco Chanel type vibe. Oh, you I see. feel that. Do you see? Um, well, producer Hannah says whatever kind of bust you have, it's a very flattering neckline. Yes, isn't no, it? I, I I do like a. And also, uh, if you neck. if you don't like too much on display here, then it. <laughs> is, I'm trying to be polite. I don't you know. You are, you I, are, yeah. bless you. And failing dismally. But you know what I mean. Uh, it's, let's just go with, it's very flattering. It it's, is flattering. Um, you, can, you can wear it to your kids' uh, teacher, teacher's evening, parents' <laughs> evening, yes, and not get could. funny looks. This is very true. This is very true. It's just a nice, relaxed, light fit, isn't it? And like you say, you can dress it up or dress it down, depending on what you're doing. Um, but what I really like it with it, I mean, in the, in the book, I've used a, a, a floaty material, but by switching up the material, and this is what I love about dressmaking, just by switching up that material to this beautiful um, uh, Ponte Roma, it's just, it's so warm. It's a perfect winter yes. snuggly dress, yes. isn't it? And do you know what I love about it is that because it's the bat wing, no sleeve inserts, no worrying about that, it's no such shoulder a sleeves, pattern. nothing. Uh, and that is what I like. This is about getting your confidence dressmaking. You are looking at two meters of fabric. So what's that? Hang on, four, eight, 16 pounds. Bargain! 16 pounds for a fabulous dress you can wear anywhere. Ta -da! Maybe not you, Chris. Floor manager Chris is just coming in. It's like, what, you me? Could do, we could do a sweatshirt, that wing strap. Oh, yeah. You could pop a go fame in it. Oh, yeah, he'd he do that. It. There's he'd massive that. thumbs up there. I'm so going to do that in the break. Um, okay, so I've gone around my neckline yep. 
and you can see that I've, I've joined it up at the back and then I've cut it to size. Okay. So that, that's just a quicker way of doing it. So rather than undoing all of that, I'm just going to sew in that centre back seam and all I'm going to do is just remove a couple of pins. So I'm keeping my garment out of the way while I sew that back seam together. Okay. And then the pins will go back in? And then the pins will go back okay. in. Okay. All right. So let's just do that. Do you know, uh, floor manager Chris uh, was uh, almost voguing there. I oh, know, I thought that's what he's doing at the corner no, of my I eye. I saw that, I saw that. Um, so I think, you know, a bit of jersey would allow that, that dance floor movement. <laughs> Definitely. There's nothing worse. He's, I remember my brother cruising sitting his jeans for a, a bat wing on the uh, sweatshirt. I can feel it. I can feel it coming on. Right, OK. On the so. floor of, of the dance floor of our wedding. <laughs> <laughs> due to some exaggerated <laughs> dance moves. Okay, so you can see now that my neckline fits my um, the collar that I've just created. Perfectly. Okay, so to now attach this on, we're going to do it in a one -er. So what you would do is okay. fold that back on itself. Yeah. And then just reattach your pins. You can see that I've got, I won't sew this in, but you can just see what I'm doing. Maybe you want to sew it in while I go and look at some fabrics or something like yeah, that. Yeah, sure, okay. So you repin that. So all I've done, I'll just recap on those two sections there. As you can see that it was opened out in that section there yep. where I've just attached it together. The next step is to bring those two together. So you can see that we've got our collar here. Yeah. And then we've got our, all of our three raw edges there. And we're going to just literally sew the whole thing around. Fabulous. All right. See you do that. Uh, I'm going to go over here and look at some fabrics okay. and kits and 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 oh should have taken the book with me <coughs> now here we go Le oh great 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 says producer Hannah great I take it this is most popular this hour is it producer Hannah oh actually navy is but grey is very very close behind. what you at home need to see is this ba 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 so you don't need to put a sleeve on, although you put the sleeve in the same way that you would the neckline. But look at that, you see, that's why you don't need, that's why this fabric is fabulous. So two meters minimum for this dress, that's what, just under 16 pounds, and you are good to go. New dress for 16 pounds made to your own specifications. Uh, yes, tailor made for 16 pounds. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, super flattering, easy to use, feels really comfy, sits where you want it. I love it. Uh, right, navy. You love the navy, we love the navy, we all love the navy. You can wear it with anything. Chris loves the navy. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. We can make you something for the Christmas party, Chris. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Three ninety nine. Oh, he's going to fit in the dress, apparently. Uh, we've just changed the whole feel of the show, haven't we? Uh, XZJQ41. Chris, floor manager Chris is still new, so he's still trying to make a good impression. So I reckon we could get him in that dress. Uh, now, here we go. We'd be like twins. <laughs> oh, dress twins. Here we go. This is your camel. I love camel. Why don't more people wear camel? Yeah, people should wear more camel. Uh, $3.99. It's great with a oh, nice brown belt. Nice brown leather belt with that. Be gorgeous. SIJQ62. And then the black. Wear anywhere black. That's what I say. Yeah. Here it is. Um, and it is. Guess what? $3.99 per half a metre. Have you got your jersey yet? Have you tried sewing in jersey yet? This is a really affordable way to give it a go. You're going to absolutely love it. Yes. That's, that's. Now, the pattern making bundle. What this gives you is three large pieces of tracing paper. So if you are not using the t-shirt um, technique that Jennifer's just shown us, but you're not happy to just go sh straight in. Make your own pattern. And also, once you've got your own pattern, you can make it in all the different colors. Hurrah! <coughs> you also get fabulous uh, scissors, you get your double tracing wheel, you get your three-in-one pen, and you get your dressmaker's tracing paper. Brilliant, with the different colors, so that you're always tracing with a color that is different to the fabric you're using. Brilliant, $34.99 for that. What a great gift. Or. If you uh, need to do some stuff with elastic, we've got elastic for you. We've got glass-headed pins. We've got an air-erasable pen. We've got 
tape measures. You can never have too many tape measures. If only I could pick it up. All the things that you, um, you know, you just need in your life from the haberdasherers or haberdasherers, as we like to call them here. Uh, and then you've got them in your stash. For example, tomorrow, just saying, tomorrow, uh, I'm making a tablet holder. I needed some elastic. Did I have any in my stash? Uh -uh. Well, I probably do somewhere, but I can't actually find it. But have it in your stash. Overlock of threads. Gray is in the lead. Just so that you know. But what a great tip from Jen. Uh, get your gray. Just get your gray as your starting point, And then get just one or two of the other colors just to then use for the top threads. Brilliant. Brilliant. $7.99. If you have an overlocker, tell us why you love it because I'm, I'm relatively new. Only in the last couple of months have I, have I actually dared open my overlocker, and I don't know what took me so long. I, I was scared of threading it, but I absolutely love it now, and everything gets overlocked. Locked? Overlocked. Locked. Yes. Uh, Jennifer, are you ready for me? I am. Yay! Da -da 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 -da! Show me your neckline. Right, so there we have our neckline done. Nice. That's good, isn't it's it? Kind of a snuggly neckline too, Snuggly neckline. It? But as you can see, the, this is what, where the beauty comes in. Everything's finished. Everything's done. All nice if and neat. If you wanted to do it like a, like, like yeah. a polar necky type yep. situation, you could do that. You could do that. But remember when I was, um, with this particular neckline, because I wanted that structure, because I wanted it to stand up to give me that kind of Coco Chanel feel, um, you would do the opposite for obviously your stretch because you need to get it over your head. Okay, all right. So I'm whereas I was doing it against the stretch, so the neckline doesn't really move much. Go with the stretch. Go with the stretch okay. if you're going to do a polo style. Thank you. And right, we've not got long. Right. Okay. So that's our neckline done. Yeah. And um, so before we move on to our little next project, if you do want it to be a little bit more snugly around the um, the waistline, you could just literally leave it like that. Yeah. Okay. And um, obviously you need to hem the the bottom of your skirt, and you almost repeat. The, what I've done is repeated the process with the neckline on my to create cuffs or you could just overlock it and do a single hem and, uh, and finish it off that way if you wanted to. Would you finish that off with a normal uh, sewing machine? Yeah, so you okay. overlock the edge, yep. fold it back once, so you don't need to do it twice because you yep. overlocked yep. and then stitch that overlock Fab. down with a single hem. Okay. Perfect. Um, so before we move on to the next little bit of project, um, the one thing we wanted to talk to cover was elastic, yes. wasn't it? So we we're going to put in our elastic waist. Now the bundle, take a look at the elastic bundle. Yeah, do you know what? Whether you have a bit of elastic or not, just grab yourself a little bit more because we've uh, got so many projects coming up that are going to use elastic um, and then you've got it. You've got it for when you need it. There's nothing worse than putting a, a project on pause because uh, you don't have the stuff. 14.49 uh, and then you've got pins. You've got super duper lots of elastic. In fact, we're missing one of the elastics off our bundle on display at the moment. We're missing the white one off there. Um, and then You've got your pen and your tape measure as well. So JJGC73. And the good old glass headed pins. That's what I like. Yeah, love it. Right then, so uh, imagine I've done it on a flat piece of material so we can really see what I'm doing. Yes. But imagine that this is your, your dress and it's a tube because obviously we're going to be putting a circle into a circle. Right. Um, now your elastic would be um, around your waist, yep. your natural waist, and you'd want it to have a little bit of a uh, give. So you want it to stay there, okay? So naturally your elastic is going to be shorter than what would be the dress. Yes. Okay, so it's about getting that into that evenly. So this is where you, you, you get your, uh, your water erasable from, okay? Right. So the first thing we're going to do with that elastic, what you would do in your dress would obviously be you'd sew these together like that first, and then you'd quarter them. But I'm going to open it out so you can clearly see what I'm doing. Okay, yeah. Okay. So you're putting your two ends together, so mm -hmm. you're making it in half. So I'm just going to put a little line there. And then what you're then going to do is quarter it. So taking the end and then put it in there. So there's right. one, and then again the other. So that's that bit done. So now I'm going to do the same again with what is my dress. Okay. okay. So the first one is easy. It will be your side seam. So you don't need to do that one. But then you need to find out where the centre of yes. your, your back is. So again, I'm going to fold it in half. Pop a pin in that one. Fold it in half. Pop a pin in that one. 
And then last but not least, oh. in for that one. There you go. Uh -huh. So I've quartered my dress. Yeah. I've also quartered my elastic. So could this be the round here? Of, on your dress. Yeah, yeah. So, so what would be your, in this case, even though I've laid it out flat, the price yeah. is the same. So here and here is already half. Yeah. So what you'd put your side seams together to then get your centre front and centre back. That's your quarter dress done. And then with your elastic, same principle, it would be in a circle. So that's already one point. So just pull it. That's the second point, And then bring those together to get the other side. And when would I sew this into my dress? After it's done, not Oh, beforehand. really? Yeah. I've, in fact, I think this is... A, I th did you do elastic in this? Yeah, there is a little bit of elastic in there. But you're a little bit belt. smaller than me, my lady. So there's your elastic in there. Should you wish. Okay. So I don't need to wear a belt. I just did because I'm trying to keep my microphone and everything up. Quick, before it on slides the down the back. <coughs> on the back of me... Uh, there we go. On the back of your thing. So when you're doing your elastic, it's really important that with your sewing machine that you have changed your needle. This is the big one to your um, ballpoint or stretch needle. OK. Because if you use a normal universal, something that you'd normally sew with cotton, what that will actually do is cut not only your elastic, but also cut your pontaromi and it will break it. So you only have those ladders like you have in your tights. You'd create ladders with that uh, with that um, needle. So change your needle and work microscopically. It's basically got a, a rounded edge. So what it's finding the loops in the knit. That's okay. basically what it does. Let's do this. We've so, got ten minutes left. Oh my gosh, it's running away with us. So I'm going to go with um, thirteen. That's giving me a straight stitch. So I've secured my elastic to the very end first. So this, this will look like a zigzag mm -hmm. with a straight stitch through it. That's what it'll look like. That's the stitch that you're looking for. OK. So I've got my needle um, into my elastic. So I'm just going to do a couple of stitches first. That's... Hold on. Uh, I want to lengthen that. OK, so I've stopped. So what I want to do is get that purple pen mark, my quarter, yeah. to my pin. Ah, OK. So once I've got that there, then this is where you need to be, this is where you do. Everything I said before about not stretching your material would be applicable. However, when you're doing your elastic, you need to you stretch it. You need to it. stretch it. So I'm holding the back of my elastic there, and I'm pulling it just until the material lies flat. So I'm not stretching. But the nice thing is that you are, um, you're only you're only stretching a quarter of it. You're not having to yes, stretch the whole right. the whole shebang. So then again, next point. There's my halfway point, bringing yeah. it to that point on my material, yeah. popping a pin in it there. Yeah. So what, the point is, I, I don't over I don't overstretch. You can see I right. really yes. stretch my material there. You're not overstretching. You're just doing it so it lies flat. And the key is to hold the back of the elastic, and then just okay. allow that to guide through. So don't be scared of working with elastic. It's just another way. Okay. And I really and then, like and it. And then you just keep going. So the tip is, is not to overstretch, but then you can see you've got that nice finish there on your uh, on your waistline. Nice. So that's the and effect stretch. you're getting. So it will stretch in. So it just cinches in in the waist. So pre-Christmas dinner, post-Christmas dinner. <laughs> yeah. Exactly, Josh. That's just exactly saying. right. Just saying. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to go recap the jerseys okay. because they're going like hot cakes. Right, okay. And then we're going to show a quick bit of shearing. Yes. Not Damn like it. sheep shearing. Different no, type no, of shearing. No, no, different type. Different yeah. type. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's have a quick recap here. We have got the camel. 3.99 per half a metre of your camel. You see, oh, check out your baskets on these. All of them, apparently, says producer Hannah. She's the lady that can see what stock's doing what. So, yeah, please check out your baskets on that. $3.99 per half a metre. Uh, here's your grey. Again, $3.99 per half a metre there. But grey, very, very popular. Very, very popular. Um, again, you know, it's one of those ones, dress it up, dress it down, doesn't matter. Just get it and use it. Yeah. And then please check out your baskets, especially for your... Um, Navy, as it's commonly known. Completely forgot that there. Uh, it's 
not difficult, just for me. Uh, and of course, if you are getting this to make this dress today, four units of fabric is your minimum there. So we're looking at about just under 16 pounds, but that just depends on what length you want. This comes down, uh, without the elastic, this comes down to my knee and I am nearly six foot tall. There you go. So that gives you an idea of how much you need. Uh, this is your black. And it is, guess what? 3.99 per half meter. Isn't it lovely and affordable? Nice. Elastic bundle. Here it is. This is what it, this is what it is. So you get your, um, your smaller, this is like for your shearing elastic there. Then you get, oh, there you go. It's on your screen. You get all of that for 14.99. Uh, we've also got the two shearing ones on their own. We're going to show you what we mean by shearing in just one moment. We're rapidly running out of time. Um, but which one do you want, white or black? Oh, this is your white one. You can actually see that, can't you? So this is 10 meters on a reel here of your shearing elastic. 149, this is not going to break the bank. One pound 49, put it in your basket. You never know when you're going to need it. Maybe you need the black, which you just can't see. There you go. Maybe you need the black. And there it is for you. So £1.49 for 10 metres. Now, you might have been, in fact, a few of you have been asking, what's this? What's this? Well, this is where you would use your shearing elastic. So maybe you've got, you've got an occasion, you've got to do, and you need, I love this, unusual scarf. Look at this. This has come out of, ah, where's my, oh, it's here. This is your quick projects book, and it's in here, $11.99. So lots and lots of different projects in here, but there's a whole section that you've got all sorts in there um, of different, and, but there's a scarf in here, which is all in here. We'll show it to you in just one moment. I'll take it with me. You've got all of your templates and everything in there as well as, you know, the, everything for your house, your home, and everything else. Let's see what we've done here. Jennifer, Jennifer, Ooh. Jennifer. Um, I'm thinking winter weddings, it's just nice to have something a little bit it's different. It's a great effect, isn't it? It is, it's lovely, very unusual. Um, I would actually probably cross it over and then pop a little brooch. A nice brooch on. Or something. So linen texture, this is, um, this is the magenta. Yeah, this is the magenta. This is the color that we've got it in here. But again, you could use it, maybe you don't want to to see the, the different colour, maybe you want to do it in a, in a complete solid colour. Yeah, yeah. I quite like seeing this. So very Beepo. quickly, what do we do? Beepo, right, okay. So um, the scarf is effectively a piece of material. So yeah. in, the, in the instructions, it's a 12 inch wide by a three metre Whoa. length of fabric. So this is the thing about shearing, whatever size you want it to be finished in, yes. so let's say you want a one and a half metre scarf, Double it, double the material because it will literally just eat that material up. So make sure you double the length. Could I do it out of a metre and a half and just put a seam in? Oh, and so it's together. Oh, yeah. yeah, you could do that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So um, all I've gone ahead and done as per the instructions is that I've double hemmed either the long sides of my scarf. Obviously okay. This is a short version because what we're going to do uh, after, or you, you don't have to do this, but in the instructions, what they've done is that is purposely frayed it. So you've got this like, little texture on the very bottom of the scarf like that. Nice. Okay. So um, that's if you want to do the scarf. But for me, it's, oh, I want to show you how to do the shearing. That's the thing. Because you can apply this to so many projects. I just, so many projects. I, outside of work, I always, you'll always see me with the scarf. Now, how much shearing elastic do I need for this? Um, if you're going to do uh, the five in the book, it's five rows, so one, two, three, but there's five lines of stitching, so that's about 45 metres. 45 metres, so you'd have to buy five packets of your shearing elastic. Shearing elastic. That is why we're offering the shearing elastic by itself. You see what we're dipping there for you. So 149 for that. Right, go, 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 okay, we've got right. a few minutes. So the first thing you need to do is you need to wind your shearing elastic onto your bobbin. It's not a top thread, okay? Right. So put it on your bobbin. Now you can do it with your machine, but do not put it through any of those tension plates at all. Okay. So you're, just, you're basically using the machine for a bit of speed, but don't put your foot down. So just rather than doing it by hand and winding it on, you can use your machine, but don't put, what you don't want to be doing is pulling that elastic. Okay. You, want, you want it to be just wrapping around that bobbin loosely okay all right so that's the first thing oh so it's actually going in the machine it's going in Whoa. the machine yeah yeah okay. so um so the, the the biggest one is don't 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 pull that 
that okay. shearing, okay? okay. Um, but you can do it on your machine. Um, and then what I'm going to do, rather than in this machine particularly, um, I'm not going to allow it to um, cut the thread. So I want to bring that shearing elastic up. Okay. So I'm just pulling that through now. Yeah. Hold on a second. Let me just do that again. It's gone past the tension plate. So when you're putting your bobbin in, you still want it to go through the tension plate as normal. Yeah. Okay. We've got about a minute to, right, okay. to get this Sorry get this that. done. Right. Let's do it. So on your machine, it's a straight stitch, but you, what you will want to do is just lengthen that stitch just a little bit. Just okay. a normal straight a stitch. A normal straight stitch. I'm just taking my needle up. Okay. And make sure you've got your tail. So make sure you've got enough of your uh, elastic yeah. behind okay. you. Okay. And then all you're going to do is do a straight stitch. Now, don't be alarmed when you start sewing. You go, well, it's not concertinaing up. It's not gathering up. So do the first line of stitching first. Like so. Pull. And then remove. And then when you... Hold on a minute. That's not working. Oh, it's caught. Let's try it again. But it's not uncommon when you do your shearing elastic for the first line of stitching not to gather. Right, okay. So do you have to pull it at the back or anything yeah, like so that? Yeah, see what you do want to do is hold your, um, your fabric straight. Okay. So you want to keep it taut because what will happen is as you start doing lines and lines and lines of shearing, it'll start gathering up. So you definitely ah, okay, need to keep so stretch it. stretch it out. But I don't know what I've done, but I've not, it's not um, pulling. I think it's decided that we have very yeah, little, very time, little time, time, so it's decided not to play ball. Ah, there you go. I can see what's happened. So I don't know if you can see this on here, but the elastic hasn't gone through the tension plates in the bobbin. So if that's the case, <coughs> check your bobbin. Okay. Um, I'm really pleased that that happened. <laughs> I know that you'll be like, ah, ah, but I'm really pleased that that happened because what it, that would be what would happen to me at home. So actually, I'm really pleased that happened because if that happens to you at home, just make sure that you've, you've your, got... your bottom bobbin is wound normally through the tension plate and then you will get the, the effect that, that gives you this. And this is absolutely lovely. Or you could have it around you like that. Like so, that's how, that's how she's got it in there. I like well, this. I think I might have fixed it. Let's see if it works. Ba, 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 ba. And it's got that little bit of give as well. Woo hoo hoo! I like. Now we've only got thirty seconds. No pressure. Oh, oh there it. we go. There we go. But this is it. We, you know, we're live. So when things like this happen, it's what's going to happen to you at home as well. And we can show you that fix, which I love. So make sure when you've finished your shearing, pull it and then release and then cut. Okay. So you can see that it's not quite gathered at the moment, but if I do one last Let stitch, you'll you. see it as oh, it comes We haven't out. got time, we haven't got time. So these, these were the ones, that was the stitch that didn't gather there. And then as soon as you have your bobbin through the tension, it does work. It does work. So the more lines of stitching you do, the more ruching it will give you, hence, the, oh, hence the scarf. There you uh, go. Thank you ever so much. Sorry. We will see, we always run out of time, but you're back in an hour yeah. and we will see you then. Join me for Miss It Miss Out after the break. Thank you. You're welcome. Follow us on Pinterest, search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to discover sewing work we create and love. So I'm going to be showing you how to do a ladder stitch. Now this is a great stitch when you want to sew something up and create an invisible stitch. But first of all, I'm just going to use the example of something like a pincushion, but I need to bring these two edges together using the invisible stitch, which is known as the ladder stitch. So first of all, I'm going to take my needle up through the fold. So I'm going to be concealing the knot in the thread. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my needle in through the fold of the fabric and come out. So you can see that I'm on the actual fold there. So obviously there's the, the raw edges are inside my pincushion. I'm gonna take that through. Now I'm gonna to go to the opposite side and repeat that stitch. So I wanna make sure that this is parallel. So I'm gonna come in through that fold and come out. So again, I'm making these stitches really big so you can see what I'm doing. So you can see how I'm going across the whole of the fabric. If I just keep doing a few stitches.
So as you can see, we have the ladder stitch there going across the two pieces of fabric. So when I pull my thread, you can see that almost makes those stitches invisible. Don't forget, shopping with us is easy and simple. You can just contact us at 0800 112 4433 and speak to our UK-based call centre to place an order or shop online with us at www.sewingquarter.com. Simply Sewing is a magazine for dressmakers and home sewists who are passionate about fabrics and love to sew with stylish patterns. Each issue is packed with technical know-how, templates and easy to follow instructions to sew yourself quick wardrobe updates, accessories, plushy toys, gifts, bags and more. Plus, each issue comes with a free dress pattern from our expanding trend-led collection. We're proudly flying the flag for contemporary sewing with stylish patterns and beautiful photography to inspire sewists across the globe at every level. Welcome back to Miss It, Miss Out. Uh, so this is the deal, okay? All of these beautiful linen look fabrics, we can't reorder again. That's it. When they're gone, they're gone. So if you've absolutely loved them, you need some more, maybe you've got projects in mind, uh, these are some of our favourites. Now, the company next year might bring back a, a similar one, but it won't be exactly the same. They change them seasonally, uh, you know. We don't know what they're planning to do. Weirdly, they don't tell us all their secret plans, how rude, but they don't. So um, all of these gorgeous linen look fabrics, if you've got them and you've played with them and you absolutely love them and you realize that they are brilliant, there's patchwork ones in there. There's so, I'm thinking that these are great for your kitchen makes, uh, for your oven gloves, for your cushion covers, for some, yeah, someone made a quilt with them as well. There's all sorts that you can do with them for your dog beds, for your, uh, your, um, your dog coats. And also, so if you imagine, we had the other day, Jennifer Taylor last week, with your linen look, made stockings, little dog and cat stockings, poor stockings. Fabulous. So it might be that you need to stock up because you've used all your fabric from there. I made my iPad stand out of some of these. Uh, so there's lots that you can be doing with them. They're really, really versatile. Um, the only thing I wouldn't do with them is dress make with them because they're not that kind of fabric. But yeah, look, my little iPad. In fact, I think we've got that one in there. Somewhere. Should we start? Now, we can't reorder these. When it's gone, it's gone. The pheasant has been so popular. Now, I need to show you how wide these are because they are super, super wide. You get an awful lot for your money here, just $4.99 per half a meter. This is your pheasant. Now, all of these are um, a cotton polyester mix. This is the only one that is 75-25 mix, 75% 75 cotton, 25% uh, polyester. The others are all 80-20, okay? And they just advise a 30 degree cool wash. You can wash them, hurrah. Bag making, we've made so many bags with these. We love these um, because the beautiful thing is is that you can then pick out a plain color for your, uh, for your lining. So in here, I might pick out that blue or the red to line or maybe just go with sort of a neutral cream. Fairy Country Kitchen, fabulous, $4.99. Far got a farmhouse kitchen? You want one? Producer Hannah wants one. She also wants an Arga. That goes hand in hand. So, well, you know, you could start off with, with, with that and work up, Producer Hannah. Uh, okay, Christmas! If you're making stockings for the little ones or the big ones, the big little ones, or Santa sacks, or whatever it is that you're making, $4.99. And again, all of these from now on are all your 80-20. 80% cotton, 20% polyester. Wash on a cool wash at 30 degrees. I wash everything on 30 degrees anyway. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so there we go, $4.99. Got to think of the environment. ULFG 94. And look, it's Santa in all sorts of different poses. He's dancing. He is dancing in there. And uh, Rudolph, well, I mean, he's just got a few piercings going on there, hasn't he, to hang his baubles from? Looking good. 
Uh, right, next one. Oh, look, this is this, is this one. Th that's that. Are we not getting this back again? Yeah, OK, so producer Hannah and I agree on this. These are the ones that we feel they probably will bring back, but just not like this, probably in a different colorway. So $4.99, we want these, we love these, we've used these, we've made, ah, uh, one of my favorite makes with this, the plastic bag holder. Oh, we've only got 20 meters of it left, which isn't very much for us at all. $4.99, J-O-F-G-86 is your code to get, $4.99 per half a meter. Shall I measure, shall I measure how wide it is? Yeah, let's see, because you do get a lot of fabric with these, so, $4.99 per half a metre, but it's a lot. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, look, as if by magic, a tape measure has appeared. Would you like it in centimetres? Helps if I get it around the right way. Both. Oh, let's go crazy and do both, shall we? ding a da ding a da ding uh, I would say, get that right on the edge there, that that is 100 and, between 140 and 141 centimetres wide. Uh, now, in other money, that is about 55 inches. Good, eh? So you're getting a lot. That's almost dressmaking width, isn't it? And that's a metre. So if you're getting a metre, that is exactly how much you would get. We, uh, we went to our warehouse the other day. We had a little meeting at our, our new warehouse and we saw how they cut all the fabric because it's all cut. We've got um, a cutting department and they cut all the fabric to your request, which is fabulous. We're so lucky to be able to do that. Uh, look, oh, look at this. Christmassy swirls, yes, please. Check these out, I like this. So if you want um, a fabric that's not gonna date, if you want a fabric that, when I say date, like you might get some of the fun, the fun ones for little kids, but if you're making uh, a, a stocking that is going to be with them forever, then this, you know, they're not going to grow out of this. This is a lovely fabric to have. $4.99 or a Christmas, Christmas tree skirt. That's a relatively new concept for me and I'm kind of enjoying it. It means that I could actually have a real tree and not have that thing of, it's all in the carpet, those needles. Just goes on your Christmas tree skirt. Perfect. $4.99, HDFG78. And then it doesn't look all bare when all the presents go. You've still got something pretty underneath. Uh, right. Oh, now I still want to make, do you know I haven't done it yet? Still want to make a linen basket for Freddie's, Freddie's, uh, well, Freddie and Stephen's bathroom. I'm, I'm, I have a different one I don't share with them. They can, the boy department. 4.99, KLFG 59. That would be fab, wouldn't it? I'm thinking linen baskets, I'm thinking wash bags. Blinds, yeah, blinds would be great, and especially with that width as well. Odor coated up if you're making wash baskets. Brilliant. Swimming bags for the little ones. Just started taking Freddy swimming. Yep. That's fun. <laughs> no, really. Great fun. <sighs> okay. Oh, ooh. Ooh. Have you seen this one? These... Have we only got a metre of this left? Seriously? Okay, this is your grey scan. I haven't seen this before. This is your grey scandy patchwork. We um, will try our hardest to reorder it, but it won't be exactly this. Okay, but look, this is faux patchwork. Save yourself the effort. Just, but it's only a metre of it. So basically this. We've just got this. Um, you won't get like this one, not one that we've manhandled here. Uh, you'll get a fresh meter, but there is only this left in the warehouse. I love it. How have I not seen this? Where has this been all my life? I love this. Four ninety nine for your linen look, and and then you see you can do you could do. This would look great for a dog's bed, all patchworked and lovely. Um, but of course. Whatever you want, it's a lovely durable fabric. Make your Christmas cushions out of it. Do all those sorts of things. Make your, uh, your Christmas Santa sack. Don't wait for next year, because if you love this, the motif might have changed. Well, it will have changed. It won't be this. It might be similar, but it won't be exactly this. Oh, love that. Please check out your basket. I'm just going to hide this, because I think that's going to go any second now. It is miss it, miss out. Remember that your, <coughs> your P&P is done per day. So if you see a fabric and it's about to sell out, just check out your basket. That secures it. It's the only way that you're going to secure the, fa uh, the fabric. Um, otherwise, psh, no. 
Oh, I love this one. Not Christmassy at all. Absolutely fun and fabulous. This is for the rest of the year. But you see, I've been making a lot of my little iPad stands and tablet stands for, for family and friends for Christmas. Are you going to have a Hawaiian themed Christmas tree, producer Hannah? Just because you can. Brilliant. Oh, you've got pineapple lights. Oh, so you're good to go. Well, that's fabulous. It's like you'll be Christmasing in Cuba. Um, <coughs> your housemate thinks that you're crazy. Well, you know, we couldn't possibly comment, but we might want to come around. 4 99 per half a metre. Oh, Hannah, I, I love that you are one of a kind. I absolutely love that. You're very dear to us. Uh, please don't ever change. Um, are you going to have, like, um, fake birds to, so, you know, the ones with... Oh, you've already got some. Oh, perfect. With like the wire feet that you can wrap onto things. Yes, perfect. Do you have an oversized um, flamingo? We'll have to sort one. You do need some more flamingo based things. Maybe the flamingo could go at the top of your tree. Maybe the flamingo could go at the top of your tree. You know, just thinking for you. If you know, you're coming away from your traditional, why not? Less than 20 metres of that fabric. So are you going to make your Christmas tree skirt out of that, producer Hannah? Mm. Oh, hang on. This is the large swirl. Let's compare and contrast. Small squirrel, squirrel, swirl, large squirrel. Swirl. Can't say it. Uh, <laughs> squirrel, swirl, squirrel, squirrel. Uh, that's the big one. That's what we're looking at, this one. But that's just to show. Oh, it's only a metre of this anyway. Bing. So if you want it, please grab it now. Check out your baskets. That's how popular it's been. All of these, that nice wider length, <coughs> excuse me, of 140 centimetres, that's 55 inches. Please do grab it now. Uh, 4.99, J, uh, VJFG18. And if you do, then I promise I probably won't sing it at you again. Um, <laughs> Anna's like, yeah, don't do that. Should I put that to one side as well? It's going to go, isn't it? Um, floor manager boys, please may I have a drink because I appear to have a frog in my throat. Oh, this is, yeah, this is the other one that I wanted to do, um, lots for the bathroom in. So popular. Or actually, even kids' bedrooms, I think, looks fab. And because it's multi-directional, it doesn't really matter which way up you use it. Love it. It's fab. And all those great bold colours. Yeah, bean bags. I've got a thing for bean bags at the moment. This would be fab for bean bags. Four ninety nine. Just whack them in the kids' room, and then bring them out when you've got too many people to sit on your sofa, and you're done. Comfy, comfy seating. Four ninety nine. B Y F G eighty. Yes, storage tubs. Have you seen the price of them? Ridiculously expensive in the uh, in the shops. I would just interface this, heavily interface this, and then you can make great big storage tubs. Whack all their rubbish in there. Or uh, towels. You could stack your towels in your bathroom for it. Nice. Four ninety nine. Have we got much of that? 22 meters, 44 units. When it's gone, it is gone. Yeah. Uh, right, oh. Really, not getting this one back? I love this one. Oh, but look, it's just ridiculously cute. Look at them in all, all directions. So $4.99, that's your linen look Christmas. Santa Rudolph, we love a bit of Christmas Santa Rudolph. <coughs> Try swinging around so you can see them in all different angles. Non-directional. I love this one. It's my fave. 499 JLFG 83. Oh yes. 80% cotton, 20% polyester. Wash it on a cool wash. All of these. Oh, produce Hannah, your tree skirt. Oh, although we've already discussed that you're gonna have a flamingo one. Um, uh, tablecloths, you could take, ooh, look at that. What a fabulous fabric this is. I like this. 
How have I not seen this? Should we check the measurements again for the width of this one? Check it's the same. I should imagine it probably is, but I will just double check for you. Let's have a quick look. Bright, contemporary. It's almost like only 10 metres of it. It is slightly uh, less wide. Oh, no, it is exactly the same width. There we go, 141 centimetres. Hurrah, look at that. Well, I love this. What are you going to use it for? Messages in, please. What are you using it for? What have you used it for already? Yeah, because these have been on the shows. I haven't seen this on the show, but no, I haven't. No. Well, as our boss Haley liked to remind me, I had most of Jan I had most of October off because of half term. I was like, I didn't. I just had actually four of my work days off. Christmas tags, yes. Nice Christmas tags. Very nice. Uh, right. A lady did a quilt with this one. Oh, she appliqued them on like snow globes. How? Oh, Peter Sands is sorry, she can't remember your name, but it was really pretty. I love this. How have I not seen this one either? So she cut them into snow globe shapes and appliqued them onto her quilt. What a fabulous idea. I salute that. And it looked amazing. If you're watching, can you send us that picture in again, please? Because I'd love to see that. Four ninety nine. How much, sorry? Oh, only four metres. Right, that's eight units, so please get it quickly. Um, I love that. Yay! Sizes of the snowmen. Let's see how big these chaps are. This is pre-Christmas dinner. They are, do you want um, height or girth? Uh, nearly 10 centimetres tall. His tummy uh, has a diameter of nearly five and a half centimetres and with arms, nine centimetres. That's for the, the dark hair, the dark hatted one. Let's check. Uh, yeah, no, nine and a half centimetres for the red, uh, for the red hatted one too. There we go. Essential measurements. Absolute essential measurements. Uh, we won't measure them again after their Christmas dinner. That would just be rude. Look, producer Hannah says it's important. If you need to applique them on, well, you see, producer Hannah, actually, you've given me a thought because I had a, a letter home from Freddie's school yesterday saying, please, could he come in some sort of party outfit, Christmas party outfit for the dress rehearsal for the school play? He's three. What is he doing? Um, apparently, they're doing the Nutcracker Suite in Mackerton Sign Language. I, I salute them for trying. Um, I can't wait to see it. But uh, I could just applique that onto a T-shirt. Job done. Party, party, party. Or onto his little jeans or something. Any outfit is a party outfit when you're three. Wow. I just, um, it'll be like herding cats. That's, oh, oh, you lost it. But I like this. Can we find it again? I'll put it to one side and then we'll see if we can find it. Santa's hugging the reindeer. I mean, it's love. It's love. It's love. Oh, hey, look, another one. So this is the... Um, oh, no, that's already sold. You've already got it. Oh, blimey. Got to be quick today, haven't we? Uh, let's go stripes. Have we got this? Yay! Um, what I like about this one is that... We're going to... Yeah. Okay, let me show you. If you're mixing this up with... So maybe you're doing a bean bag and you want to have the this one on the top. You see, I do square bean bags. So I then put a ticking around the middle. So I do top in this, base in this, and then ticking around the edge. Can you see it's the same, pretty much, same colors. Um, or you could do it, it look, also looks great, with that one. Yeah. So you could, you could do it with, with all your nautical ones, and then you could have a few stripes. Obviously, stripes look better when they're not on screen. That's the other thing to bear in mind. Sometimes they do funny things. Uh, so I love this. This is $4.99 for your linen look nautical stripe. But producer Hannah, what about stars and stripes? Always a winner, stars and stripes. So I would be mixing these up. 
Great for kids' cushions, anything like that. Whoa. Oh, we think the stripes is going to sell out. Please. Oh, two meters left now. You, you're, you're already on it. Good. You've got the hang of it. Miss it, miss out means just... Sorry, that sounded so patronizing, didn't it? You know how to check stuff out your basket. But when it's gone, it's gone. Uh, so <laughs> just grab it now. Don't miss out. We're not going to charge you any extra postage or anything like that. It's just $2.95 per day. That's the big big thing here is that we don't some places when you check out your basket if you then see something else you want to buy they'll charge you postage again how rude how rude i've been stung so many times like that um so ba, 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 ba. um they might bring something similar to this back. Maybe the stars will be a different style color but you see producer hannah you know i was thinking yeah, you see, if you got this the other day, uh, if you got your, for your, no, it's not a glove for my giant dog, although it would probably fit my Great Dane, uh, he'd give it a go, but no, this is, this is your stocking for your dog or your cat, but then we realised actually it would make a great oven glove, yeah, uh, but you see, look, maybe you've run out now of your Christmas tree fabric because you loved it, and so maybe you could want to do it in your star one, Oh, we had a big bone as well for dogs, and that would look great in the star as well. There you go. Let me pop that there for you. Or just a cushion or a pillow for your dog. You see, I'd stuff that and make it into a bone-shaped pillow for Eric because he would love that. A little coat. Yeah, you could odor coat it and have an exciting Christmas coat for them. Or you could make a cat bed or something because I realise, you know, I got told off the other day by a viewer who said, why are you so dog-based? Some of us have cats too. It wasn't intentional. It was just that it was a bone. But, you know, hey, look, cats have paws too. So, you know, that's suitable. It, it's kind of um, unisex in terms of dog or cat. Unipored. Can I call it unipored? Does that work? Yeah. In my head, that works. It's a worrying... My paw's going in my pile. Yeah, just so that I remember it there. Try, I'll, I'll put my paw to one side. Let's pause for a second. Right, oh, here we go. Oh, nice. So if you are like me and your hearts don't always quite work out when you're sewing them, just get it like this. Yay! Do you know what else I would be doing? I'd be appliqueing these hearts all over the place. I would be cutting those out and appliqueing them left, right, and centre. Yes, I would. Yes. Oh, look. Oh, hang on. Can I get this? I'm just leaving the set for a moment. I'm coming back. Look, you see, eagle-eyed uh, Tim spotted this. Look. Nice, hey. Yay. Uh, so lots of ways to use these, uh, including many, well, basically heart-based ways to use them. Hurrah. Um, fabulous. And again, you could, you could faux patchwork it. Just sew along there. Oh, Valentine's Day. If you're getting ahead. Yes, if you're thinking ahead already. Because let's face it, as soon as we're done with Christmas, we're going to be all over Valentine's Day and Easter, aren't we? <coughs> that is how that is working. Those boys aren't listening, producer Hannah. I still need a drink. I've still got that frog in my throat. Please, please, please. That would be lovely. I think it's the fluff from the fabric. Just... <coughs> oh, Ooh, I like this. Oh, only a metre of this. This is lovely. Imagine having this on your binding. This is fab. Look at this one. But if you miss it, then you will miss out. And I don't want you to. And it's only a metre left. So basically this size, this exact size. Already two of you have it in your basket, so it's a battle as to who can check out the quickest. Oh, it's like fabric jeopardy. Thank you. Four of you have it in your basket. You just need to check out your basket because more of you than we have of that available. Soz. Um, Producer Hannah, has anybody said what they're making with all this? I mean, lots of you buying it. 
Oh, you want to see it all? That's fair enough. Um, have we got this one? Yay! Um, I now don't know which one's my favourite because basically any of this style is my favourite. I oh look, look, look! You could make actually you could applique these just onto cards, couldn't you? Bit of brown, um, bit of brown card. Woohoo! Or gift tags. You could applique that onto a gift tag. I do love these ones. I do, it's the little sticky legs. Ah, oh, he's just fabulous. Oh look, he's he's loving his little, he's loving his little reindeer. There's some reindeer love going on there. It's a beautiful thing. The reindeer looks less sure about this. He's not as as convinced about the love. Yeah. Well, I'm not surprised because the next minute, look, he's tied up. And he's like, you said you love me. That's just, just how it goes. Oh, poor little chap. <laughs> is it, oh, th then he's running away. Where's he running? Oh, look, look at this. He's like, yeah, I had enough of that. Oh, no, he's coming to help. Oh, look, there's the other side of the picture. Look, he's coming to help. He's like, it's all right. I've, uh, I've just finished my Zumba class. I've got my leg warmers on. Or maybe he's been doing some sort of 1980s kind of aerobics. Um, and he's, so he's all fully limbered up, ready to come and pick up that present because old Santa's eaten too many uh, mince pies and can't bend over anymore. That's why I love this fabric. So many stories. Oh, hang on a minute. Look, no, no, it's okay because look down here. He's like, hi, you thought I'd forgotten about you. No, it's okay, I'm back. Maybe he just tied him up while he went into the shop for a quick pint of milk. You know, like, you know, you have to, like, tie up your dog, don't you? You can't take your reindeer into the co-op, can you, when you go in for your pint of milk? Other milk-based stores are available. Uh, so that's why we love the fabric. How much fun can you have with just one fabric? Ah, oh, so much fun. So much fun. Uh, oh, here we go. Has that nautical stripe sold out yet, Patrice Hannah? I put it over there, so um, it's in my about to sell out any second pile, because that would look lovely with the anchor. Yes. Okay, well done. So if you manage to get the nautical stripe, then why not consider some of this? If you went for, let me show you, because these are all sort of part of the same range. If you went for the nautical patchwork, that works with it. And with this one here, you'll see there's a little, there's the anchor there which is, yeah, meh, 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 meh. See how that happens? And then you've got your anchors here to echo there. Hurrah. Uh, nautical patchwork is going down the bottom there. 4 99 for that. Awesome. Now, oh, whilst we're in a nautical theme, yes, we are, because look, we've got whales next. Would you like a beanbag out of the whales? I'm sure that we could organise that for you, Producer Hannah. I love these. Where, where, why haven't I had these? These are just fabulous. So um, we've been watching Blue Planet too. It's got to be said. Freddie's always loved whales, and he's got a jumper with a whale on, and he always likes to tell me that he's having a whale of a time. Um, yeah. <coughs> but then he watched Blue Planet. He's gone off his whale jumper awkward because he said he doesn't like their teeth so then we tried to explain krill to him trying to explain the concept of krill to a three-year-old it's tricky but i think he gets it now uh, right so they're your whales and they don't have teeth so i think my three-year-old will like them and they're looking good they are such that that is just that classic whale shape they're very cute they are stylish whales they are your stereotypical whale. You wouldn't be scared if you saw him, would you? You'd be like, hi, whale, you look quite friendly. Do they make themselves quite hard to see? Oh, if you go on a whale watching thing. I was going to say, you know, like they're how many ton? It's a bit awkward, you know, like don't look at me. They're not exactly going to disappear, are they, into the back? Mind you, they're, blue, they're kind of blue, so they do sort of blue out. Um, <coughs> I just like a whale. What can I say? Oh, well, look at this. These guys have been dressing up. They've got their Christmas jumpers on. 
what, a Christmas jumper? Her producer, Hannah, Hannah says she's going to have to get a Christmas jumper. Maybe I could applique you um, one like when I'm doing Freddie's one for his Christmas show. Have I got to go and watch the Christmas show? You could just dress up as a bauble. Yes, job done. I would just like to cut round these and uh, sew them with a zigzag stitch. Yeah, we do enjoy these. Look at them. Oh, you've got baby ones down here too. Have you? No, I haven't seen this one either. Must have been a, um, a John and Paul show. So you've got baby reindeer, because, you know, they need Christmas too. You've got some, uh, some good-looking accessories here, some nice scarf. I don't know if his nan knitted him that. Maybe the nan knitted this jumper over here. I don't know why they don't have a sheared elastic scarf. Maybe, they ha maybe that's what they're waiting for. Well, I mean, yeah, to be fair, some don't even have bodies. But, you know, it's all good. It's, it's just, it's like, it's like a portrait of the reindeer instead, isn't it? I do like it. This one's got high heels on. She's out for a Christmas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. She's out for a Christmas party. Check that out. She's like, yeah, I've also got my little bauble tassels on down the bottom there. Woohoo. She's going to be having a fabulous night. I hope those don't hurt her. Because, you know, high heeled shoes. The which one sold out? The snowmen have sold out. Oh, well done. Hang on. Let me rummage. You, you keep looking at that. I'll have a rummage and get rid of. There you go, snowmen, gone. Gone. Uh, I'm sorry, I was just enjoying this, this fabric here. My linen look, oh yes, 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 yes. My linen look patchwork fabric, the one with all the pictures on this one. Is this about to go as well? Oh, please grab it. There's now only a metre of this left. So if you want it, please check out your basket. 4 99 per half metre. Woohoo! Miss it, miss out. That's the name of the game this hour. But it does mean that we'll have lots of space for fabulous new fabrics to come in. There's always a plus side. Yay! 4 99 per half metre. <coughs> ah, right. OK. Little stock update there for you. Um, yes, we interrupt this broadcast to bring you a stock update. Oh, yeah, let's move on to the fish. I, I still don't feel that we've enjoyed every outfit on that, but, you know, you can buy it and then you can appreciate all their little outfits. Do enjoy that. A lot of thought's gone into that. Ah, now the fish. Did we make a bag out of this? I feel we might have done a laundry bag. Oh, see, there we go. Which way do the fish swim? Well, theoretically, the fish swim up. There you go. Maybe you're looking down on them like a big pond. Like a fish migration. Do fish migrate? I wasn't paying attention to Blue Planet 2. Do fish migrate? Maybe they do. Maybe they, they do that. Do they, yeah, they do swim in like massive school, uh, shoals. It's like school, but not, isn't it? Yes. Maybe it's like that. Uh, but you can use it whoosh, like that. Oh, Christine's emailed. Hello, Christine. How are you? Could we show? Yes, 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 yes. We can show that one. Uh, so that's your linen look nautical fish looking actually very nice, Christine, with the one you're talking about, which is here. Um, oh, look, and the whales match, if you were looking for your whales. So this is the one that Christine wants to look at. You can do that. You can get, in, you can get involved. You can, you can uh, get in touch and say, hey, can you just show me that uh, ba -ba 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 again? You see, look, in your bathroom, producer Hannah, you see, then you, can, you could have, yeah, look, it goes with all of these. So uh, my whale's coming up down the bottom of the screen there. This seaside fabric here is there. Does that make sense? Yay. Perfect sense. You see, perfect sense. This, yeah, this has bathrooms, swimming, all that sort of thing just written all over it. I love this one. 
but then you see he's picked out in there as well in different colorways, happy days. You even get seahorses. I was driving home yesterday with Freddie and he said, I'd like to talk about, like, right, I'd like to talk about what's in the sea. That was the conversational topic on the way home yesterday. I'd like to talk about what's in the sea, mummy. Uh, and we came up with pretty much all of these. Anchors, whales, seahorses, it's all there. Oh, we didn't say starfish. Oh, he could have had that. And then he came up with pirates. Yeah. I, well, it depends, doesn't it, if they're actually in the water, like how badly their mission went if they actually end up in the water. But they're, yeah. I didn't, I didn't go in, I didn't, I didn't nitpick when he said pirates. I felt that was a bit mean, producer Hannah. He is only three. Uh, <laughs> here we go. Oh, oh, oh. We're going to pause here for a moment. Ba -da 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 -da. Bing. <laughs> yeah, no, my hand has changed a little bit. Uh, and if you can't pick back, it should be an oven glove. It should so be a big oven glove, a big paw shaped oven glove. Um, when I first met my husband, uh, the main thing that we realized that we had in common was our love for animals and dogs. So maybe I should, <laughs> he didn't bark, no. He's probably barking mad, poor man. Uh, but I should make him one of these, shouldn't I? I should. Well, it won't be his only gift for Christmas. Obviously, maybe I should just do him like a large paw-shaped stocking. Size it up. Yeah. There we go. So you see lots of uses for these. This could be your tree skirt. Could be. Could be, could be. And the nice thing is, because um, these are all coming from the same company, you can mix and match your reds as much as you like. So... Table mats, yes. Maybe you want to then edge it with a, with a bit of Christmas swirl. You see, but it's all the same red. So if you're just going, and I like this because it's kind of rusticy Christmas, isn't it? And this makes me think of brown paper packaging tied up with string. <laughs> it is one of those uh, favorite things. Yeah. Uh, so um, yes, perfect. There's your swirl down the bottom there. And then your Christmas tree is there. Oh, have you seen that advert, actually, where they do the sound of music through the generations? It made me cry. So sad. What's wrong with me? Mind you, I cry up. Has anybody seen Up? Movie Up? Yeah. First 10 minutes of that, floods of tears. <sighs> it's Christmas movie time. I just have to have a, a box of tissues because they all make me cry. It's dreadful. Uh, right. Apart from Home Alone, I think I can get through that. Uh, right. Now then. Oh, the last one here. And then, oh, and then we're going to look at something new that you haven't seen before. Uh, I'm going to tease you. We wanted to show it you in the first hour, but as, uh, as you saw, we kind of ran out of time on the first hour. There was so much on there. So we've got something brand new. But let's first focus on this. Uh, I'm thinking, just throwing it out there, why not, instead of, you know, we've got this. Um, why not sort of use some of this as faux ribbon to make things like this? You could do that, couldn't you? It'd be lovely. The other colorway that we had in the gray, it sold out. It's gone. It's miss it, miss out hour. That's what happens on miss it, miss out. If you miss it, then you, well, obviously miss out. That's it, it's gone. It's nice, isn't it? It's unusual, this one. I like it. But it got all of those Christmas things that you require in your life. Brilliant. Uh, Leslie sent in a nice message, apparently. She says, morning, Natasha. I made a bathroom blind with the seaside fabric. It looks great. Uh, oh, no, it looks good as a blind. Lots of love. I'm saying that it looks great. I'm sure it looks great. Helps if I can read. Yeah, well, Leslie, we'd like to see a photo. If you're happy to share your... Uh, your I need to know how to make a blind. Why is it that I, I've never made a blind, and yet I think I'd like to make one? I think I'm just not sure how to attach it. But Leslie, if you want to send a picture, 
I know the Ultimate Sewing Bible's got details on it, and I, so I need to look that up. Studio at sewingquarter.com. That is why, that's for your photo, Leslie, if you, you know, want to share. That would be amazing. Or if anybody else would like to share their photos of their makes. Um, yeah, that's why I bought that book, Producer Hannah, was so that I could make blinds. Oh, I, yeah. Uh, right. She said I could have just read it here. Well, yeah, but I need it at home. Now, we're not showing these until 11 o'clock. Hang on, I've got all my fabrics over the top. We're trying to basically get you as much stock as we can of this because we think you're going to love it. Excuse me for turning my back on you. How rude, but I've got a rummage in my thing. Now, um, here we go. Da -da 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 -da. We have brought you in the past wonder clips, but then we discovered something a little bit different. Ladies and gentlemen, drum roll, please. I give you the magic clip. Ba -da! Yes. And you're going, well, why would I need these? Well, we're going to show you in the 11 o'clock show. But basically, you know when uh, you use your magic, your, um, your wonder clips, and you're sewing, you've got them all clipped on, and you're sewing. Well, you've then got to unclip, haven't you, to make it go through, which is fine, but you know, sometimes you don't want to unclip. You, you need that security all the way through. Well, with magic clips, you don't unclip. They are lovely and flat, so you just keep on sewing. So, 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 so. As you can see there, that's your needle, that's your clip, and you just sew over them. Not over them, like the needle just clears it there. So you can sew an eighth of an inch next to it, but your machine foot will just glide over the top because they're magic. They're magic. We, so we have managed to get some brand new stock of this in for you. We want to get as many, so um, that will be at 11 o'clock for those. Two different sizes, depending on what sort of project. They open up really, really wide. Can I show, can I just get one out? Um, um, you think they're open, Producer Hannah, but floor manager Chris, shut them again. Uh, okay, this is it. So this is the clip. When it clips onto your fabric, like so, can you see it's flat? It's absolutely flat. So you just sew. We've got two different sizes of these, so that will just go, and then you've got different measuring marks there so that you can decide. We'll go through these in detail at 11 o'clock, but I just wanted to give you a heads up that we've got these in because they will be very, very popular. So if you're after something like that, please join us at 11 o'clock because they will be on there. They're magic. This is from the people that brought you the, um, the magic thread stuff, thread magic, which I've got my hands on and I love it. It's brilliant stuff. I was hand sewing uh, a whole load of these last night, just sewing up the, where I'd filled them. And, uh, and the thread magic made such a difference. I did not get a knot in my thread once. So these people really know their stuff. Right, what's next, Producer Hannah? Let's recap. Let's see what we've got and what we haven't got. Where do you want to start? At the very beginning. There we go. I need to go to the gym now, is there? Uh, right, pheasants. Now, this is the only one that is 75% cotton, 25% polyester. The, all, the rest are all 80-20. Yay! Here we go. So this, can I just, do you want me to check the width of this one? See, this is a different width. Over 20 of you have this in your basket. You know what I'm going to say, don't you? Please check out, because this is an incredibly popular one. And I don't want you missing out. Right, this is about 140, around there or thereabouts, 140. So if you all check out your baskets, please make sure that you do, because I don't want you missing out. It is 4.99 per half a meter. Yeah. Check it out. Yeah. Right, next up, we've got, oh, yes. 
Christmas love. There should be a lot of love at Christmas. There should be, there should be. Maybe this is gonna be your stocking, yay! Or maybe it's just gonna be a, a novelty cushion. I don't know. Half the stock has been checked out already and it does look like a, a dancing Santa there. Uh, so please check out your baskets for the rest of this. Half of it has already gone, and I'm not just talking about people sitting it with it in their baskets. It's been checked out and secured and gone. So $4.99 here, ULFG94. Whoop, whoop. Stars, stars, stars. That way. I'm getting better at folding fabric. That's a big claim, I know, but... Right, okay, stars. Stars in their eyes, on your fabric and everywhere else. Let you see, mm -mm -mm, recognize it? Yes. We also, out of this one, this is, we made our plastic bag holder with this one. Fabulous, lovely to use, easy to use. $4.99 for your Linen Look Stars Berry Fabric. Lots of you have checked this out. Lots of you sat with it in your baskets. Please don't miss out on this. We want to be able to reorder this, but we suspect they will change the design slightly. As sneaky companies do, they bring out a new range, they eke and tweak things. Might be that the stars are a different color or something or a different size, or I don't know what they're gonna do because they haven't told me. But also reordering takes a bit of time. So $4.99 to get your berry fabric in your stars. Lovely. I do like this. Uh, this is 141 wide. Uh, again, with all of these, wash on a cool wash, wash on 30 degrees. Uh, but that's, that's just, I mean, that's great because you can actually wash them. Hurrah. Right, next. Oh, but just Hannah, have you got some of this left? Are you gonna go swirl? Well, let's swirl it up. What, the little swirl? Oh, Alison asks, Alison, this is for you. Here we go. Ba, 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 the swirl. This is your small swirl. I reckon the big swirl has gone. So you can, you can swirl in a small kind of a way. Oh, she wants to make a table runner. Oh, well, this is perfect. Absolutely lovely. Are you, gonna, are you going to bind it in something a bit fancy and swish, or are you going to bind it in this? Are you going to eau de coat it? Ah, oh, so many options. So many options. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but you do have to check out your baskets, because the big one's gone. The big swirl is gone. <whistles> Just went. Just went. What else are we looking at? The tropical, is this at your request or somebody else's? Oh, this is your, your request. Uh, have, we got an, have, we, have we got enough left for you, Producer Hannah? Yeah. If, if Producer Hannah goes quiet, then I know. Oh, is that what it is? So Producer Hannah earlier said that she's gonna have an alternative tropical Christmas tree in her house, and we realized that it's just because she needs a holiday. So you're just gonna make your own beach holiday Christmas it's like I don't know that I could cope with Christmas in Australia. I'd give it a go, obviously, just to find out. But, you know, like a hot, a hot holiday at Christmas? Uh, you know, somewhere? No. You see, cameraman Tim says no. He says no. Does it need to be cold for Christmas? Yes. Yes. But producer Hannah, you know, she's hot-blooded. She needs a bit of warmth. And this would do. I also love the fact that we just need to find you some, uh, some more parrots and toucans and flamingos to decorate your tree with, to go with your pineapple lights. Nice. It, it, it's sounding a lot of fun at your house. You could have a cocktail party, a Christmas drinks cocktail party. We're all coming. I, I take that as an invitation. Yes. Um, I... I love producer Hannah and her family because producer Hannah's parents, have I got this right, said that they would only come to yours if you got a new cooker for Christmas. So you're getting a new cooker tomorrow so that you can host Christmas for them. I mean, that's not demanding at all, is it? <coughs> oh, right, so yeah, no, producer Hannah's. Oh, so she, your mum's going to do the cooking just if, oh, because you're going to be here at work. Hey, look, we're broadcasting on Christmas Day for you. Oh, crazy, I know, but we're doing it. 
365 days of the year. Um, that's going to be you and John, isn't it? So your mum's going to um, use your brand new cooker. Oh, you'll have used it where you just worn it in for her. And then, uh, and then you'll go home to a nice cooked dinner. Then John's going to go up to hit the rest of his family. It's all good. That's the joy of coming off air at midday, isn't it? You see, we've still got half a day left. It doesn't kick off in many places, does it? If you don't have kids, then it doesn't, Christmas Day does not need to kick off at 4 o'clock in the morning. So I'm told, apparently. Um, unless, of course, you're working, Producer Hannah. You'll be up. Uh, right. Oh, look. Oh, this, oh, no, okay. So, look, we've got, we've got the reindeer love going on here. It's a beautiful thing. I just love their little sticky legs. These make me laugh. It's, um, it's a beautiful thing. Beautiful thing. They're very happy. And, uh, and look, when they run, they, they sparkle stars. <laughs> they just run. <coughs> you see, he's looking, he's looking back going, ha ha, I don't get tied up. No. Oh, no. He's looking back going, why aren't I having a hug, Santa? What's going on? <laughs> so <laughs> going on with that one. I really like that fabric. It just makes me laugh. Hours of fun. Hours of fun. Oh, look at these two. You see, I would be, um, I would be cutting that out and appliqueing that onto some sort of craft, brown craft card. Look at them. With their Christmas scarves on. Uh, floor manager Jay is coming. Do you, do you do Christmas jumpers in your house? Please tell me you do. I, I want to imagine you in a Christmas jumper. I have them, but we don't do You them. have them, but no one else in your family does. That's as I suspected. Yes. Brilliant. Brilliant. Can I do what? Can I go nautical icon, icons fabric that I showed just a minute ago? Yes, because... Oh, you have a picture from Leslie. Oh, this is this, this Leslie's bathroom blind. Oh, well, using this very fabric. Leslie, thank you. Oh, it does look fab, doesn't it? That's really good. You see, that's what I need to know is how do you do the fixings? Oh, she used an old blind and just uh, fabric glue and just got on with it. Oh, you see, that's what I need to do, isn't it? Upcycling. Leslie, that's great. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just I'm thinking about <laughs> my mum said to me the other day, she said, you know that your uh, your bathroom window doesn't actually shut properly. I was like, oh, I wonder why it was always a bit breezy. She's like, yeah, no, it doesn't actually shut properly. So maybe you might like to put a blind at the window sooner rather than later because it's getting a bit chilly in here. Love it. Loving our new house. No problems there. Excellent. $4.99 for your Linen Look Seaside Fabric. It's all good. We can actually invite people around now because they've sorted out the drains. It's, all, it's all, all good fun at our house. Yep. Drain man turned up yesterday. He had tattoos all over his face. Are you meant to look at them or not? I'm never sure. I don't, I don't know. I'm unsure when people have tattoos on their face. He was ever so nice. Um, but I never know if you're meant to look at them. What do you think, Tim? Are you meant to? Mm -hmm, I don't know. I don't know. They are there, so it's like, want to look in your eyes because I'm talking to you, but you've got lots of tattoos going on here, which I'm a bit fascinated by. Wasn't sure. Wasn't sure. Is that okay? He, well, yeah, producer Hannah says he knows they're there. Well, you've got to hope, haven't you, that he knows they're there. Uh, but ever so nice, and uh, sorted out my, my drain issue, so that was all good. <laughs> Happy days. <laughs> it was a problem. Here we go. 4 99 EMFG. 30. Turns out we had a whole load of stones down there. Not good. Uh, so 4 99 for your Linen Look Christmas Stars red fabric. You can use this throughout the year. This doesn't have to be just Christmassy, does it? Freddie's got stars in his bedroom. He's got them in grey, but actually he's got quite a lot of red as well. Actually, no, he's got grey, red and white on his bed linen. Maybe he needs another cushion. Mm. Or bean bag. Maybe he needs another bean bag. I am a little bit obsessed with bean bags at the moment. Um, two and a half minutes. Which fabrics would you like to see? 
the patchwork look one. Can't believe that we can't get all these back again. This patchwork one, always a winner. Uh, now, Leslie, maybe could I just suggest as a possibility, your linen basket out of this? Mm -hmm. I think it would be nice. Swimming bags, all those sorts of gubbins and goodies and things that you need in your life. Oh, storage baskets. Yes, you could make a longer one and put toilet rolls in it. That's a good idea, producer Hannah. Anything to keep that bathroom a bit tidier. Yeah, got to be done. Um, or maybe just um, a storage basket for all the toys that, you know, come out of the bath. Oh, you don't have toys in your bath. That's because you're not three, you see. <laughs> it's just in my house then. Linen look hearts on a line. Oh, no. Linen look hearts on a line. This one. Yay! It's like charades, but with words. Um, trying to describe these fabrics. There we go. Linen look hearts on a line. It's not called that. It's called Christmas Gandhi Stripe. But I know what you mean. Linen look hearts on a line. 4 99 per half a metre. The grey is sold out. So don't miss this or miss out. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. There it is, 4.99. IQFG64. Don't miss out. Check out your baskets. You can check out as many times as you like. We do not charge you more than one PNP per day. It's done on a per day thing. So uh, yeah, just just check out your baskets as much as you like, so that you don't miss out. Because if you just have it sat in your basket, doesn't secure it. Has to be checked out. Do I have a favourite? Yes, producer Hannah, I do have a favourite. I have two, I have this and the whales, but this is my Christmas favorite. It's the, um, I like to think of it as the Christmas jumper fabric. Uh, I just love the fact that one of them has got like high heels and baubles round her jumper because she's, she's going out, out. Not just out, she's going out, out. So this is your happy reindeer. They are happy reindeers. And there are reindeer babies. Please check out. We are back after the break with some Sashko. Christmas styly. See you in a minute. Join us on Facebook. Simply search for The Sewing Quarter and like our page for the latest news and more. Hi, I'm Victoria Pete, and here are my top tips. My first tip is when dressmaking is to wash your fabrics. As soon as you get home or as soon as it arrives in the post, stick it in the wash. Wash it as you would do with the finished garment. Get it ready so that when you're ready to sew, you're ready to go. My next tip is posture. When you're sitting at your sewing machine, particularly when you're doing something like quilting, pay attention to how you're sitting in the chair, because quite often when you're really concentrating on quilting, you have a tendency to hunch, and before you know it, you'll end up with a bad back. So my last tip is to not sew when you're tired. So many times I've sewn when I'm tired and I make mistakes, and you find yourself unpicking or wasting fabric. Sew when you're nice, ready and fresh. So I'm going to be showing you how to do an ease stitch. Um, it's very similar to our running stitch here, um, but the purpose of it would be different. So I've kind of mocked uh, the head of a sleeve here. Nine times out of ten, you will have to ease the top section of your sleeve. So this is the stitch that you would do that with if you were going to do it with hand. So I'm going to use the embroidery thread. I've just popped a knot on the end again, just so it doesn't pull through. Normally you wouldn't do it with um, embroidery thread. So on your sleeve, normally these sections will need to be kept as they are, because it's only this section here that we need to be working with. So I'm going to be doing a running stitch quite close to the edge of the fabric. I'm just going to do the quick method here where you're pulling the needle through the fabric while keeping it on the same needle so I'm going to stop there and then pull that all the way through like so so you can see that I've got just that section sewn there and then as I begin to pull you can see that I'm easing the head of my sleeve in so when that is stitched these 
curves should disappear, they shouldn't be there because you've eased the bigger section into a smaller section on the clothing. So that's easing. Watch the talented Joe Carter create a festive 3D Christmas tree this Wednesday the 15th of November. Using fabrics from the Tilda Cottage collection, Joe will bring this tabletop decoration to life at 8am. Designed by Tina O'Rourke, the tree can be embellished with mini gifts too. Tune in to see all of Joe's top tips. Then at 10am, we have Joe's Toy Box Masterclass. Joe shares her sewing expertise with her favourite kits and covers techniques to achieve a professional finish on these unique toys. So, tune in on Wednesday the 15th of November from 8am and watch Joe in action only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. Hello, welcome back. Now, Sashko, we've got a starter kit, we've got Christmas bundles, we've got ways for you to Sashko up your Christmas cards. Hooray! Everything that you need. Now, um, our Sashko starter kits are always incredibly popular. Uh, today's, I'm sure, will be no different. In your starter kit, you will get a meter of our fabric, you will get the book, you will get two skeins so that you can get stitching straight away. You'll get needles, you'll get your chocopi paper. It's basically like, um, oh, like waitresses when they have the, the char it's not charcoal. What, do, what am I trying to say? Chalk paper? Ch no, yeah, chalky type paper. So it transfers through. Um, and then you get your wadding and your needles. It's all in there. It's all good to go. So the 39.99. Are you all now? Producer Hannah, I can't hear you. Oh, hi. Was there, were, were you saying anything I needed to listen to? Oh, and the, oh, and the marker. Yeah, the Hera marker. We love the Hera marker. Yeah, we do love that. Now, um, I'm surrounded by goodies here. Uh, the copy paper I don't have in front of me. I don't have that bun. Hang on. There you go, here it is. Whoops, uh-oh. So if you want it just by itself, maybe you've, uh, you've never heard of this before. You've got the books and you just need some in your life. This is the easy way to copy your patterns onto your fabric. We'll talk about that in more uh, detail, but if you just need that by itself, it's £4.75. Hurrah. Now, brand new products for you today. The Christmas skein bundle is over here. Now, these, ah, look at these. These are beautiful. Now, these are not the sort of skeins that you uh, can break down. These are brand new today. They are thicker, so you do longer stitches with these. There they are. They, um, and they are absolutely beautiful. You've got a silver one in there but it just means that your thread is a little bit thicker. You do a longer stitch, which means you can do bigger projects more easily. So for 11.49, but we are limited on it because look, it's got that in there. But can you just see, oh, how beautifully the luminosity of those threads is. It's just fabulous. And then you've got that silver, that special silver one. We're gonna have a play with that in a minute. So they're pearl, that's what they're called, they're pearl. So they don't break down into the six constituent threads. They are as, they just are as they are. So use your bigger headed needles um, and, and you're good to go. 11.49 for that, fabulous. I keep knocking these over, they're in a really awkward place. It's, yeah, it's my bat wings getting in the way. We've got the white pearl cotton on so Let me show you white pearl cotton by itself because sometimes you just need, it's just got that lovely luster. That's the word I want, not luminosity, luster. It's got a good old luster. Look at that, 25 meters of that. Because normally you just get eight meters in a skein, but here you're getting a whopping 25 meters for 199. That's great value. If you just want the red by itself. Oh, it's a nice soft red, isn't it? There you go, 199, that's your pearl cotton. That does not break down into its constituents parts. You will need a thicker needle for that. Now let's talk needles. We've got some brand new ones. 
Oh, look, they've just landed in my trolley. Here we go. Now, let me tell you about these because, oh, well, first of all, this is your assorted long. Yeah, in its packet, it looks like, hang on, which ones? This is your b -b 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 short, this is your long. So that's what it is. Oh, it's a lovely stocking filler. Comes like this, which is really rather lovely. And then you can just, well, if I didn't have it in my hand, then you'd be able to see. It's like a little test tube of needles. It's just, it's beautifully displayed. Now, this company, Tulip, brand new to us today, they have been making needles in Japan for over 300 years. What they don't know about a Sashko needle, pfft, Forget it, don't even bother. Uh, these are just brilliant. So from a company that has, of course, been, well, it's a traditional, traditional company from Japan where, of course, Sashko originates from. So traditional needles, proper needles for the proper job. We've sourced them for you, $6.99. And with 300 years worth of experience in making needles for Sashko, then fabulous. What a great gift. What a fabulous gift, Be or even a little stocking filler. It's not going to break the bank, is it? Let me show you the, you see, or oh, you could hang them from your Christmas tree as little tree gifts or table gifts. But they, these are the short ones. They're, these are assorted short. So basically, you just have different length needles for the sort of, if you want longer stitches or shorter stitches or the type of fabric that you're using, $6.99 for your Tulip Sashko needle assorted, and these are the short ones. So again, a company in Japan, they're still in Japan. They're, uh, they're very much about the quality and just about, they want stitching to be a part of your life. Loads of those going in your baskets, great gift even to yourself, uh, stocking fillers, all those sorts of things. They are, they are proper Japanese needles for Sashko, made in Japan by Japanese with over 300 years experience of making needles for Sashko. They don't know, if they haven't got it right, there's no hope for any of us, quite frankly. Loads of those going in your baskets, please check out now. I really love the fact that Sashko has absolutely taken the nation by storm, love it. Now, um, the Sashko templates that we have shown you before, we've brought these to wear before. Um, oh, can I open these out of the packet? They'll come to you all beautifully packaged like this. So we've, what we basically did was we went and had a look at original style designs. We adapted them and we brought them to you. Now you get five different Sashko templates. We'll show you how to work with these if you've never seen Sashko before. Jennifer Taylor, who loves a spot of Sashko, is, uh, is standing ready. She's limbering up, ready to Sashko. This is, the, if you ever wondered what a Sashko limber looks like, it's something like this. Yeah, that's what you need to do before your Sashko. You don't have to, but it's just an idea. We don't want any Sashko related injuries from not having limbered up. Uh, so. These are the, the, these are the original ones that we brought you. So basically, you've got the book, you've learnt the basics, you've watched Jen do many a show on Sashko, and then you just want something a little bit different. So five different sheets of these. So, and what I love is that you can repeat different certain aspects. So you might just want to do that in a red and have kind of like a poinsettia look. Uh, then you've got, yeah, you see, we've got all those ideas. Maybe you want to get that, um, that pearl thread and do the red. But then you see you've got those, those designs, but bigger. You see, so you can echo them with the smaller ones or the bigger ones, it's just up to you. This is where you use your chocopy to then put these onto your fabric to then stitch around. You've got borders here, you've got those five sheets in here and you are good to go. So they are inspired by traditional Japanese Sashko designs. Now these were so popular We've bought some exclusive sewing quarter Christmas ones. Now, not necessarily traditional Sashko designs, but so that you can use your Sashko stitching on things like your Christmas cards, which we can see down here, which we'll have a look in a minute. Um, but this is what you can do. So the first time that we showed the other ones, they sold out so, so quickly. These are brand new for all your Christmas designs. Maybe you want to do your Christmas um, table, play, uh, table settings. 
Maybe you want to do Christmas baubles. Maybe you want to do Christmas cushions. Maybe you want to do Christmas wall hangings. This is what we're going to be playing with today. Yeah. All those coming to you for $9.99 so you can get stitching. There's a made one. You see, maybe you just want that as, um, as a little cushion. Fab. Beautiful. So $9.99, XTIE76. You're getting four sheets of templates there. And these are just some of the designs. Lots of those being checked out already. Get yourself ready for Christmas. So what we realized is if you're into Sashko, we, and we said this on a show the other day, but wouldn't they make lovely cards? And of course, that set the old cogs whirring. So if you want to make your own Christmas cards and Sashko them, look, here they are, which I keep knocking over. So we've got two different bundles for you today. And, um, and I think lovely Adele in our office made these for us. Right, two different bundles. Now, if you would like to go for the blue bundle, you are getting a metre and a half of fabric. You are getting um, your thread. So that is your um, pearl thread there, your white thread pad, 25 metres of that. You're getting your templates as well. So you're getting your templates. One sheet that's different there from the bundle. And then you're also getting aperture cards. So I do believe you get, I think I want to say it's 10 aperture cards, but I will double check that. But you're getting your aperture cards in A5 and A6. Yes, they're all in there. So the template sheets that you're getting here, you're getting 10 aperture cards in there. A5 and A6, and you're getting this sheet of design so they fit perfectly into your apertures. Aren't they lovely? Now that is different and not in the, in the set, that the 999 set that I just showed you. So this is a different one, which means that you can do these sorts of designs. And they fit, you see, they're, they're designed to fit in the apertures. There we go. So look at that one. Beautiful, and we've popped a little gem in the middle there. If you've gone for the silver thread, oh, you see, there you go. Beautiful, really lovely. Now, the next bundle gives you um, cream aperture cards. So again, 10 aperture cards. So this is, this is for your nearest and dearest, isn't it, if you're, if you're going to this. So there we go, you're getting 10 oval, 10 rectangle, and you get your templates again, different ones. Different ones there. And then you're also getting a metre and a half of fabric. There you can see half a metre of each of those and your white skein. So let's have a look at that template sheet again. There we go. There. Very sweet. And they will fit beautifully. Right, you see that? Perfect. Lovely. So lots of you checking those out. Please check out your baskets. Make sure you don't miss out on any of this. Right. Let's go across to Jennifer. <laughs> Gosh. Hello. There's a lot. There's a lot there, isn't there? Yeah. But do you know what? And I'm blaming you for a lot of this. I'm sorry. <laughs> the it's world a great has gone Sashko oh, mad. It, it's a Sashko Christmas. It is, isn't I it? I love it. I love it. They look really cute out of those cards. I know it's not your actual traditional... Um, no, but we'll be giving it a but Christmas But why twist. not give your Sashko stitch in that Christmas twist? Because the effect of it... It's just beautiful. ...is beautiful. That, uh, that baby blue um, with the silver snowflake card. Beautiful. beautiful. And I'm not sure if you uh, noticed on camera, but... Um, She's what? She's backed it, so she's quilt. She's used the, the yeah. Sashko quilt technique to stitch those in. Now, Lovely. we're talking about the Sashko stitch technique mm. because um, we've got this book in our starter kit. Yes. We, we give you different books in the, in the starter kits. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to show you, because this is my... All sorts of different things in here. I'm going to slip to... Ah, uh, look at this. Sashko mm. first originated in Japan yes. as a mending stitch. 
That's right. correct, yes. So you'd have your jacket and when it wore thin, you would stitch a Patch new and piece. Stitch up. Yeah, absolutely. So why not take that idea? Yes, 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 and put it on a teddy bear. Aww. Just love this book. So yes, you've got all of your different traditional techniques in there, um, and you've got all of your templates, but you've got so many different gifting ideas mm. in here. Um, so our other books that we've had, each one is so different and has so many, yeah. they each have so many brilliant, brilliant ways in which to use them. So placemats, but this gives you lots of practical ways to mm -hmm. use to use that stitching. More, um, more sort of scenes in this. Yes, aren't yes, there? yes, yes. So this is different to the one that you've probably seen before, which is our Ultimate Sashko book by yeah. Susan Briscoe, where um, she very much focuses on the traditional blue and white stitch. Yes. Um, whereas this book um, takes you through that. It does give you that those lessons yeah. uh, at the beginning, but then it starts taking you on into other areas that we haven't really explored before, which is yet. yours yet, which is what we're getting on now. So it's taking your sashko and in, putting, applying it into quilting techniques, but then also doing it in applique. Nice. And then at the vet, so this is the tradition, this is probably what you're familiar with. This is what we, we've done. We've done a lot of we've this. We've done a lot there. of that before. Whereas this book has that in the book, but then it takes it further. It takes it further. So we thought this would be the next book for you. Well, do you know what? The, I think the reason why it has um, so much more in terms of so almost crafting type ideas is because, um, now how do we say this name? Hiro Mitsu. That so <laughs> let's go with the author, this chap here. Um, he, well, back in 1976, mm -hmm. he won an award for his, his crafting and his stitching. And he's been teaching, although he, he's actually an architect. I know, yeah. So he's actually an architect, but he's been teaching this for years mm -hmm. and won a an, big award for it in 1976. So this award, this, this award, this book has <laughs> this a more crafting <laughs> element to it yeah, as yeah. well. Lots of those projects, $14.99 for the book by itself. But if you want it as part of a whopping great big bundle down there, that's your starter bundle yeah. to get you going. You've got the wadding so that you can start to do these things. Absolutely. Brilliant. A meter of fabric and everything. So what we've done with that starter kit, not only giving you the book, but you've also got everything you need. So you've got your, your Sashko needles in there. You've also got um, your original way of marking your fabric, which is the harem. Yes. Which is basically, uh, it's in the packaging there, but that's what it looks like out of the packaging. Yes. And traditionally, this would have been like bone. It would right, have been bone. Okay. Uh, whereas obviously this isn't bone. This is, this is vegetarian, vegan free. Um, it's just plastic, but it works the same way. Um, so whereas um, we're using the char copy in a second, I'm just going to show you this. So what this does, it just, it, it marks the fabric by giving it a sheen. So if you can see that there. So it, it basically like, mm -hmm. uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It, um, it like rubs it, basically. Yeah. It causes a friction, so there you can you go. see it there. Now that will wash out. Yes, it will. So if you're worried about using a delicate fabric or something like that, where you don't, yeah, no, you're not worried, you're worried if your pen is gonna mark it, mm -hmm. not, you know, stain it or anything like that, or you don't like the feel of uh, chalk or anything mm -hmm. like that, then this is a great way to go, and a traditional and way it, to go. This is the traditional way of doing it. So um, going back to the sort of templates, um, or even using the front of the book as an example, all of these designs would be worked in with a grid. So the reason why you would use your hair is because you're just doing straight lines and you would work your grid, yeah. and then you would work your design into that grid. But today... But we've decided to cut all of that out, that time-consuming grid larking, and we're giving you your template so you can just get straight on to okay. stitching your designs which is why we've given you the char copy so you can try the starter yeah, exactly. kit so we've given you tradition and modern here's your starter kit this is everything you're getting in your starter kit so 39.99 gives you a meter of fabric so you've got your traditional blue and you've got a sort of a, an off white in there as well you've got your needles you've got your hera marker you've got white and red thread in there. You've also got that char copy paper. You've got your needles in there as well. And you've got that fabulous book and you've got wadding. So you can use the wadding to do quilting effects with this, or you can use the wadding to stuff cushions. Oh uh, yeah, or anything else to, to back it. Yeah, to back it. Because you've made a lovely. Oh, you like that? I 
do love this. Mm -hmm. Now, these have used our Christmas templates. Yes. So I know lots of you are checking out the baskets for that. Just something really quick and simple. Right, they are flying out, so I need to show them again. I left them over what you are after. there. Have you got, have you got some? Uh, the, is it the Christmas card one? Christmas card one's behind the book. Yeah, no, 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 the, the, the big pack. The big pack, that's some of them, not these all are, of them. This is half of them. Tell you what, oh, you hold those up I'll and I'll these. go and get the other half. <laughs> these are half of them. Mm. She's coming. And you can see, actually, you've used those a lot, haven't you? Still oh, pristine. Oh, I love it. I love it. Here we go. Okay. These are my uh, these are my my brand new shiny, fresh ones. Shiny, fresh, fresh ones. out the packet. There you go. So you've got that, and you're getting multiple designs per page here. So you're getting an awful yeah. lot of designs in here, and they are absolutely flying. I love the Christmas tree. It's good, isn't Imagine it? Imagine that on a Christmas mat or on yeah. your table runner, because you <gasps> could you could do it one way. Full on table well, runner. Yes. That look lovely. Yes. Because this is it, isn't it? You know, you've got to find ways to be doing... Oh, that's lovely. That's nice. Cushion. Yeah? Yeah. Now, what you've done with these are things like this. So, little baubles. We were saying the other day, dogs and cats and children yes, in the house we means that actually... Everything needs to be fabric. Everything <laughs> needs to be fabric on the Christmas tree, yeah. <laughs> Forget those lovely, delicate baubles. That ain't going to happen. This, for when they pull it over. Uh, but then also, this. I love this. Now this could be worked up for into a little mini cushion or a pink yeah. cushion or a play setting. Place mats, napkins. Doesn't matter, does it? Whatever you want it to be. I love the idea of having this as a um, as a book cover. Oh, that's nice. That's, that's when nice I would idea. absolutely love that. That's lovely. So nine ninety nine gets you your template, so you can do that. Isn't that stunning? Absolutely stunning. So that's just some ideas. And look, you see your traditional little plait. Well, you're going to have your little plait on the end. Using these templates. Now, you've also started some others, haven't you? I have, yes. So uh, I'm just going to quickly run through the process and then so you, you know what you're doing with your, your papers. So in your starter kit, which we've talked about, we've all talked about the uh, traditional way of marking out with your hair, um, hair or bone, if you like. The other way is with your, uh, your char copy. So you get multiple colours in here. There is a white in here. Yeah. Um, so you get... Obviously, you need to test out which one's going to work best on your and fabric. Show up best. Okay. So that's the reason you've got the different colours. Yes. The details for this, if you just need your chocopi, and actually, if you're a dressmaker, just get some oh, anyway, because yeah, yeah, you're going to yeah. need it. Four seventy-five there, and it lasts and lasts and lasts. But if you are getting the starter bundle, it comes in the starter bundle. Congratulations to those of you that went for the Christmas thread bundle. Um, it's gone. Oh wow. The skeins. The oh, Christmas gosh. skeins have gone. They're well beautiful. done. But we still do have the new, brand new uh, white pearl and red pearl individually. We'll look at those in a moment. Okay. Let's chocopy our chocopy. little hearts out. Um, so basically you need to ensure the, the big one for me is definitely get your cutting mat out. <laughs> Because what you don't want, you want to be applying some pressure on this okay. you, in order to transfer that char copy onto your fabric. So if you want to do it on your table, you're going to end up with the shape of your Sasko stitch all over your table. So definitely yeah. go and dig out your cutting mat. So you've got your fabric. Um, I would always suggest, um, depending on what you're doing, um, finishing your edges before you start because you're okay. going to be handling that a lot. So it's not like embroidery. It's not in a hoop. It's free. Um, so whether you're going to be doing the quilting sashko technique or just going straight to fabric with your with your thread, um, definitely finish off your edge. So if you want to overlock, you can get your overlocker out and do that. Quick way is obviously just get your pinky shears and pinky. Or your fray check. Or your fray check. Any of these things. Any of those. Work. Any of those. That's what you need to do. Um, and then obviously I'm going to go with the blue, so it will really show up on our cream fabric. So you need to make sure that's facing down. And then obviously you're going to get your lovely design. So I'm just going to go with a, uh, one of the stars very quickly, and I'm just going to do, uh, take that facing up. Now I would really strongly suggest getting a pin and just pinning those layers together because what you don't want is a shadowy mark. Oh, to get part way through. Yeah, and yeah. then you move it and then you, you go all over the place. So just pop the two pins in so everything's attached. Now we had this pin on the first hour. We did. As part of a bundle. This is why it's so useful. It's a three in one pen. And uh, what you're using at the moment is it, like point. a biro, but without ink. So it's just like a ballpoint, but without the ink, so that you just use it just as a pressing tool, basically. Do you want to show that? Yeah. 
But if you got this from the first hour, mm -hmm. then it's there an you go. invaluable piece of kit. Just get it. Yeah, there you go. Thanks. Right, so I've just gone on the outside. I haven't done the whole detail just for speed. So I'm just going to peel back those now. Oh, and you can lovely. see that we've got a nice sharp colour so we can really see what we're doing yeah and um, if for whatever reason when you've gone round oh actually I didn't quite press hard enough then the great thing about this tool is you've got a uh, white um, lead in there as well as a grey thread so if you can't see it you can just go over with your pen yeah. this is why I like this rather than trying to go and dig out through your stash to find your other pens it's all there it's already in yeah. your hand that's that was you have to go and have a look on the website for that that was from the first hour from the first hour <laughs> right okay so once you've transferred your image whatever yep. that would be whether it's your stars or your snowflakes or whatever that's what you're ready to go i'm going to show you my templates again here mm. we go lots of you going for these it's just a lovely christmas gift nice especially event. if um sometimes there are those people that you don't want to give a full-on gift to because you don't know them that way but actually whoop, uh, you know just a, a really nice handmade card is that bridge between a gift and something else. Or maybe you want to give them just a little handmade Christmas bauble. Or maybe you're going Aww. all out for someone. That would make I'm a lovely cushion. I'm definitely envisioning a really nice long table runner with placemats. Cool. Right. That's what I'm envisioning. So you've, I think it's just lovely, isn't it? Mm. A lot of you having lots of ideas as to how to Lots use of these. ideas. So here we've got one of the snowflakes. Yeah, so I've jumped ahead and gone uh, for the snowflake. Um, so the, the difference between sash co and embroidery um, is a couple of, I like to call them sashy yesy, sashy nose. Okay. Okay. So with em embroidery, um, normally, if we just take cross stitch, you're going to stitch uh, a cross, for instance. You would normally stitch your cross and then move on to the next cross. You'd do both lines at once. Whereas with um, the Sashiko technique, you're working in lines and that would be horizontal, vertically and diagonally. Because it is just a straight stitch. It's just a straight stitch. Yes. Um, so we are going to be, even though these are images, so in this case it's a snowflake, we're still going to be applying those rules, those yeah. fundamental rules. Yeah. And because it could be that you just, uh, for instance, you just stitch the arrow, if you like, of that part of the um, the, the snowflake, and then you move on to the next. Whereas that wouldn't necessarily, that's not really, that's technically not Sashko. From the front, you wouldn't know any difference, but from the back, that would be the telltale you know, right. sign. Right, okay. Okay, so if you want to go um, traditional techniques, then we're going to show you how to do that. But to be fair, just go get stitching. That's why we've given you these wonderful templates. So you could just get on with it. Okay. Um, so um, I've already gone ahead, and as you can see there, I've, I've concentrated on the one length of stitch, and I haven't even touched what I'm going to call the, the points of my um, snowflake. No, so I, okay. haven't, I haven't even that touched those. Come. So I'm just working those lines, and that's what I'm about to do now. Um, so one of the rules with Sashiko is that you do want a big fat knot in the end. So again, that's a big uh, embroidery. Sashi yes. A Sashi yes embroidery. Embroidery, no, no. Um, and you also want a nice long thread. So again, with embroidery, the rule of thumb is normally from your wrist to your elbow, isn't it? So again, that's another sashi. Yes, embroidery, no, no. Um, so the great thing about these beautiful needles is that they are not like your European needles. They are super, super strong. And the reason being, you can see that I'm manipulating the fabric onto that needle. Now, these are not going to bend. They are really, really not going to bend. And they are stupidly sharp. They are super, super sharp. Are you sharp. using our brand new long ones? I am using the brand new long ones. Here they are. This is what they look like when they come to you. They come in a packet like that. But when you open them up, oh my goodness, look how long it's the so longest beautiful. ones are. Now, these are assorted. In fact, if I put it against the black there, you can see. So you can see how long the longest ones are assorted. But if you're going for the pearl thread, you've got the larger heads on these, so you can really yeah. work. Go because, full bore, as I like yeah, to call it. Yeah, there you go. So that's six ninety nine. Again, as we said, this uh, this company. Let me show you the short ones. These are the short ones. This company. Over 300 years in Japan making needles for Sashko and the like. What they don't know ain't worth knowing. That is why Tulip is a fabulous mm. brand. So you get a test tube with six assorted needles in there. Sashko needles. What a great gift. I love it. I just love the fact they come in those little, uh, yeah. in the little chest tubes with the, with the cork on there. Then nearly, you know that they're those new Sashkos. Don't get mixing them up. Nearly half of this has gone I, well, already just, I just on think both they're lovely. of them. And you, it was such a nice idea what you said about having them as little, uh, especially if you have sewing friends, you know, like a little, little Christmas tree treat. I like that. Fab. 
Right. I like that. Now, you've got. So I know you've stopped there to show me something. I have, yes. So um, the, the reason why we are using these particular needles is one, because of the length of them. Yeah. And as, as Natasha stated with these beautiful um, uh, threads that we've got, you, you will have a lot of difficulty trying to separate these. So you have to go, as I like to call it, full bore. So yes. we want all of that luster. We don't want to separate it off. We're going to go full bore. So these needles have really big eyes on them anyway. So that allows you to, to put that, that thread through that needle. Um, and the length of the needle is, is the thing because what you want to do is, is check when you're stitching, you want to put as many stitches onto that needle as possible to check your distances. Right. Okay. So they're nice even so size. So they're nice ease and size. And what you might also notice that my stitch is bigger than the gap that I'm leaving. So they're not right. equal to each other. The, the stitch is longer, the gaps are smaller. Well, then you get to appreciate more of that lovely thread, Absolutely. don't you? Absolutely. And then the, the, the main thing here is that when you are doing that, especially when it comes to things like junctions, and that'll make more sense when we get onto our next little uh, sample, um, sometimes you'll be stitching, you go, actually, I've gone too far, I've gone too short, I need to undo that. So rather than having to pull all of that thread out, you can check your spacing and distancing while on the needle. So if that's incorrect, I can just pop that out. Brilliant. And then go again. So that's the, that's the beauty of having these nice long size needles because before you've even pulled your thread through, you can check and go, am I happy with that? Yes, I am. And therefore, you can then just pull that thread through, through. and then it's all done and just Fab. It looks lovely, isn't it? It does look lovely. Um, I'm very impressed with this thread. Now, other ideas for these are Christmas cards. Let me show you because Adele has worked so hard they on look these. Fabulous. Yeah. Now, We've got two different bundles. So if you want a white surround, then maybe go for the white and blue bundle. Now that does have a cream in there. So you're getting mini, little mini templates. They're so cute. So these aren't the templates that are coming in the other template bundle. These are mini ones specially for these aperture sizes. So you get two different aperture sizes, 10 aperture cards, you get a meter and a half of fabric and a skein to get you going. And those miniature templates. Another one on a white background to show you here. Aren't they beautiful? And of course, you know, play with a bit of ribbon in there as well. Isn't it pretty? This is one to keep and look, you see, there's some wadding in there as well so that it really is plush, should you wish something special yeah well it is it's lovely isn't it and then this one is also from this white collection this is from the uh, look at that that's your blue and white and this was using if you manage to get that christmas skeins with the silver that's got the silver thread a little bit of bling so pretty and a little shiny pretty thing on there too beautiful and this one's got a little sparkly shiny thing on too I'm now. sensing Adele likes a bit of bling. Well, yeah, but you see, here's the thing. These are your Swarovski. Um, well, I want to say that's that's not AB. Um, AB stands for Aurora Borealis. <laughs> that's what AB stands AB. for. Okay. Mm -hmm. So your Swarovski crystal in the middle there has an Aurora Borealis finish. I'm glad you can say now, that. Well, yeah, which is basically all the colours. Gives you all the colours. And you get a pack of 48 round beads in there That's for just $9.99. We're very limited on this, but that is your Swarovski AB crystal. And that's a faceted round. That's what it looks like. Aww. So it's really going to catch the light. Absolutely that's stunning. Great. But you see, it's going to pick up whatever color is around it because that's the joy of your Aurora Ooh, Borealis Oh, look at the rainbow finish. it's giving you. Well, you oh. think you'd go, you go to see the Northern Lights, don't you, yeah. with the Aurora Borealis, you see, and it's all the colors. That's so pretty. That's how I remember it. It's just those little details, isn't it? It just is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And then you said that you really liked the light yeah, blue. And again, this is all in your kit. It's so special. And let's get this around the right way. There you go, that's the right way around. Um, you have to buy the crystal separately and get your silver thread separately. But $24.99 gets you your Star of Bright Sashko kit, meter and a half of fabric, your aperture cards and your skein. Lovely. Beautiful. And the templates are different because they're, 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 they're different sizes to fit in your aperture. We, we, you know, we thought about this. Thought about it. Yeah. And we thought, yeah, you know what? You need it so that you can fill that aperture beautifully. So they are specially sized for your aperture cards. Just for you. $24.99. What a great gift. Well, 
I, was it, I'm sure it was with you when I came in last week uh, and we were talking about um, pinking shears and making uh, nice. um, gift cards, uh, not gift cards, tree hangings. And uh, in our house, and I know it's a tradition in your house, you, taking your Christmas cards, cutting them up and making them into tags. Yes. Straight away I'm thinking, I know this is a beautiful, <laughs> she's going to kill me, this is a beautiful card, but straight away I'm thinking, what I could do, right, I could just pink around the edge gift of that and then tag. use it as a little gift tag for Or a tree year. hanging for next year. I'm already thinking about cutting them up. How, how terrible. <laughs> we won't tell her. We won't tell her. <laughs> we've got another bundle as well, so we've got another colourway. So Naughty lady. <laughs> Naughty lady. So you've got your cream... You've got your green and your lovely rich Christmas red in there. And again, you're still going to get your template. You're getting your skein ready to go there. And you've also got 10 aperture cards in there for $24.99. Now, if you want the blue crystal, because we showed you the Aurora Borealis, but if you want the blue, and there are three stitched on here by Adele. Adele, well done. Now, you get 24 okay. in this packet, but look, there's three stitched on there. You can see just that beautiful shine. Two, two pounds and five pence for your sapphire Swarovski crystal, four mil. Two pounds and five pence. Great value. Love it. Very, very limited on those. So, so please check out your baskets on those. So a big thank you to Adele in the office who um, went home and had a little stitch up. <laughs> okay. Right, so I've done the foundation of my snowflake now. So you can see that we've worked them in all of those different directions. And the telltale sign, obviously, you can see we've got big fat knots in the end of those. Okay. Yeah. Um, so now um, I'm just going to quickly stitch one of the, the arrows, if you like, of the, of the um, sun, uh, sunflower. What am I about? Snowflake. Um, and then we'll move on to one of our next um, projects, uh, designs. Um, so one of the sashi yeses is that no no stitches shall meet <laughs> right. that's one of the big rules okay um so you'll probably see on um especially with our, our lovely uh, char copy here um where my blue line met that spine mm. um i've left a gap and the reason uh. being is when i come in with my other stitch i'm going to stitch to it but not over the top of it so let me just come round and this is when we talk about junctions. Okay. Okay, so let me just do that one. And then you notice that I'm going to do something, I'm going to jump in a second. So this is where you're working it in sections. Let me just bring that over. So you can see that first little bit at the very top of my snowflake, none of those stitches there touch. Yeah. And that's a little sashi, sashi yes. And you can also see at that central in junction the central, there central, how central. beautiful that is. And it, they, it's don't, they don't touch. That's a big, big one. So that's yes. the telltale sign if you're doing traditional or you're just stitching the design. Um, the next one as well, uh, one of the rules is you can see in order for me to get down to the next line of my stitching on my snowflake, I've jumped. And this is another little Sashko rule. Can you see that I've got a little bit of a loop there, a little bit of a bagging? Yes. That's, um, again, intentional. So you want to try and avoid pulling your stitches because we don't want to be puckering. We're not going to be shearing our fabric, right. OK? Yes. Um, so we want to allow the ease in there. So when you're going to do these jumps in order to stitch that whole section, you need to leave a loop not too big, but definitely not too tight. And that's a sashio, yes. OK. So again, I'm going to do a couple more stitches and then we'll move on to our next design. So again, same principle. I'm stitching towards that point but again you can see I'm not touching those two the spines of that um, snowflake there so you can see that's missed yeah and then I'm going to go the other side that's one and two so a nice sharp needle here going through that fabric an absolute treat and then again I'm just going to do the sash code rule but I'm jumping over yeah so leave that loop at the back so make sure you leave so I, what I like to do is just hold the stitches so then that way when you do pull it doesn't pull the whole thing um, I've just had a message from producer Hannah yes. who says that if you do have the template bundle in your basket the Christmas templates which were these ones which is what um, Jen is stitching on at the moment mm -hmm. is one of these designs please check out your baskets over 30 of you sitting with these not checked out so many of you have already checked out well done uh, if you haven't checked out but you want them, please check out your baskets. Seven quarter exclusive. Can't get these anywhere else. Brand new today. I just think that on a cushion would be stunning. Oh, get your different coloured threads out. And I think that this one 
either as a wall hanging, you could do, and because you, you needn't do all of them, so you could graduate the size yep. and have them getting bigger and bigger, mm -hmm. or you could do it on, um, on a table runner. Thank you. Uh, that is, in my head, table runner. All, all, over. all over that. All over All over that. Okay, so um, I've stitched the top part of my, my snowflake now. Yes. Now, I've finished here, but for me to jump to finish that little uh, star shape in the center of my snowflake, I think that's too big of a jump. We don't want that big, uh, big so loop So you wouldn't the leap across there and then work your way back up? Um, I wouldn't, no. So what I would do is finish off. Okay. All right, so how I do that, again, I go in through the last stitch. So be careful that you're not actually catching your fabric. It's just the stitch I'm interested in. And then what I'm going to do is leave that in there, taking the thread, wrapping around once and twice, and then I'm pulling it through. Is that almost like a French knot? Uh, it is like a French knot. But before I pull it tight, please make sure you place your finger on the stitches because when I do this, I start wiggling it to create a slip knot. I don't want that tension to interrupt everything we've just done with all of the bagging that we've left in our loops. So it's really important you hold those stitches down while you give that a, a pull. That tightens the knot and then you're ready to then snip off and then you can continue with the rest of your, your project. Fabulous. All right. Fabulous. Cool. Whilst you do the next bit, yes. I'm going to recap the starter kit for you. Uh, so this is everything. In fact, let's, this is the easiest way to show it to you. So in here, you are going to get the Chicopi, which is what Jen's used to transfer that design onto her onto her fabric. You get half a meter of your navy, half a meter of your cream. You're also getting your Hera marker. You're getting two skeins, one red, one white. You're also getting uh, the Clover Sashko needles. Uh, you are getting how many of those? You eight in there. Eight assorted sizes. Four different sizes. Two of each in there. Um, slightly different to the new ones that we've got for you. Uh, we've also got the Japanese Quilting Sashko book, which is a fabulous book, jam-packed full of beautiful ideas, designs, and, and just projects in there, which is absolutely wonderful. And of course, you also get your wadding, so maybe you want to quilt, do the Sashko quilting, which is again featured in this particular book, um, or whether you just want to have it to stuff Christmas baubles or different designs. Now, these aren't your pearl skeins. These are your ones that you can take the six, six different threads. They're threaded skeins. So you can take these down to whatever size that you would like. And your fabric that looks black on there is actually navy blue. There you go. Oh, it's a very dark blue. So Indigo. fewer than five of these left. Wow. Please check out your baskets. 39.99. Are these starter kits always sell out? Because when you look at that, so under 40 pounds for a whole new um, hobby. Love it. Love it. Actually, and you've got when you put it like that, it's, it's, not a, it's not a big layer. You are ready to go. Just add a pair of scissors. It's very true. Uh, and you're good to go. Perfect. Love it. Great gift. Right, okay. So once you've done all of the outer parts of your um, snowflake, you just work on the inside parts, and that would be your star so you in the centre. Work your way around, but make sure you're not pulling these threads too tight. Yeah. That's right. That's absolutely right. So that's that one. I just think that is so, it's so simple, but just so effective. And this is what I really love about Sashko in, is that all you need to do is a running stitch. If you can do a running stitch, you can do your Sashko. And I just love it. Absolutely love it. I right. think it's a big confidence giver. Massively. Massively. And because you're working to a template as well, you can give this to kids to do. Oh, yeah. You just know. follow the lines. Follow well, the lines. Well, imagine if, if your kids made one of these cards <gasps> for their grandparents so or something. Cute. That was so Amazing. cute. Amazing. Or maybe it's going to be a project. Maybe you are the grandparent, mm. you've got that, and you want to sit down and do that kit do that with, with the them. kids to give to their parents Absolutely. as a nice surprise. Absolutely. And I know what I keep talking about, the sashi yeses and sashi <coughs> noes. Yes. For me, it, it, if you just do the running stitch, just do the running stitch, the rules will come later. Just get stitching. It will look beautiful anyway. Whether your stitches touch or not, it will still look gorgeous. So just get going. But I just want to give you everything that you need so you do know the difference when you're talking Fabulous. about sashi code. Right now, then. Uh, your Christmas templates do need to be checked out now, please. And you can be making such beauties as this. Now, we had first thing, and it's, it sold out so quickly. Oh, gosh, it was just gone. The Christmas skein bundle. Mm -hmm. And within that, we had the silver, which is the, the thread that you're using here. Yes. Uh, but this is on the blue. So if you're getting the starter kit, this is, um, you know, use this is that traditional blue, isn't it? Mm -hmm. This is actually this, yeah, 
This is this is if you want this, this is your linen look. Yes. Yep. So it's got that indigo feel. So that would be the, uh, traditionally what they were stitching in would be indigo's yeah. dyed fabric. Um, and this is giving you that colour without having it all over your fingers, which is great. You <laughs> also get a dark blue in your card kit. Yes. In there. So that you can make, there we go. So you can make that sort of, that sort of effect. Love that. Beautiful. And it does look really cute with those little gems in the centre, don't they? Fab, it really it? just sets it off beautifully. So, Beautiful. so far we've dealt with straight lines. Yes, we have. We've got a curve. We've got a we curve. Do? Okay, so um, I, you can see I've already started it off a little bit, but you can see what the first thing that I did here was just stitch what was the uh, the central part of that design, which was the uh, the star in the centre. And then I'm going to work this line of stitching. So again, I'm, I'm still working in a continuous line, albeit a curved one. And then last but not least, we'd do the outer edge. Um, but the stitch pattern would be exactly the same. Um, so the one thing you need to look out for, again, if you are going to apply your sashi rules, uh, is that you um, the lines don't touch. So you can clearly see, which is what's so great about the char copy, you can clearly see what your motive is and therefore you can then gauge whether or whether you need to pull up or pull that needle in and out of your fabric so if I just bring this one in so this is in the silver thread so it's got that really beautiful dainty detail but then this is in the uh, the white thread Lovely. which we, we, this is what we have the, yeah that's the uh, white pearl the white pearl but it still looks just as effective it pops right. just as let well let me give you the details for this white pearl cotton down the bottom there we've sold out of the silver at the moment the white pearl is brand new today it's got a lovely luster to it mm. if you have these templates in your basket check out they are close to selling out if you have the new needles in your basket check out your baskets because they are close to checking out uh to selling, selling out. out that's mm -hmm. what i'm trying to say yeah so just to warn you, because otherwise, if we just if we just demo and it don't warn yeah. you, you'd be like, oh, I'm so sad. The red uh, pearl cotton by itself is sold out, so it's just the white. It's oh, just wow. selling out left, Sorry. right, and centre. So, <laughs> my word. so of the new pearl cotton, only the white remains, but this is what the white looks like. This is like. the effect that it's giving you. It's not a threaded one. It's one that is twisted, but you can't break it down into constituent parts. This is the effect that you're going to get. So that's that one. Beautiful. Lovely to work with. It's beautiful. And because of those delicate twists that you've got in the, the thread itself, I don't know if I can bring a section out for you so you can see. Oh. Because of the twists in the, in the thread, as you're stitching through, it's giving you that added texture. It's yes. just absolutely gorgeous. Um, you could attempt to separate it, but good luck and to I you. Because you it's twisted, it, it'll it be so much different. It'll be really difficult. But for me, this is your full bore. So you want your big, large needle. Um, don't separate it. Just go on uh, straight on to stitching. And the um, it just adds that texture. It's absolutely gorgeous. Only white remaining there. But I really like it. So even though we, I've just shown you the, uh, the what well, I'm calling the traditional one because it reminds me of indigo, even if you're going to go a little bit more modern and stitching it into the red with this red, uh, with the star shape here, it is, it's still giving you that beautiful imagery. It's just gorgeous. I think it's one of those things. It, it, it's like any art form. If you know the basics and you know the yeah, technique yeah. and you, you, you know the the rules, the sash <laughs> yeses and sashi the sash yes, knows, the sashi knows. Um, then you can go on and use it Just however stitch, you like. And because art forms are made to be changed mm -hmm. and, and brought up to date and modern. Now, if you're going for the brand new needles that we've got today, if you want the long ones, this is how they come. Beautifully packaged, made by a company called Tulip. And they have over 300 years experience. There you go, you can see them in there. Um, over 300 years experience in making needles for Sashko. And just, and these are your short ones here. So they're your long ones, six needles in there. Easy to wrap if you're getting it as a I gift or just hang it from the tree. So coming in a nice little test tube as well, which I will just open up for you. So when you get it, it comes like that. And then you open it up. I love these. Love it. Now you your long them. needles, fewer than 10 now. Yep. Yep. So when would I use the short ones as opposed to the long ones? So the, basically the rule is, as you probably guessed, is the smaller the needle, the shorter the needle, the, the thinner, the finer the thread. Right. And the smaller the stitch. Okay. Whereas the bigger the thread, the bigger the needle, the bigger the stitch. That's generally the rule. Hence why in your um, samples there, you've got multiple size thread and needles to accommodate for those different styles of stitching. 
there you go. They are your different sizes, and there you can see markedly different sizes. They are long. They are your assorted long ones, mm -hmm. and the short details are on the screen. It's only because these ones are open, but the assorted are similar, just shorter. Just a lot shorter. So I'm um, using these ones now, and that's the medium size there. So you can see how how long those are. Yep. From and the long are... needle packet. Which is about to sell out. About five grab those. That one's about five centimetres. So you're getting the, the idea. Gold tipped as well, so that it just goes through nice and nice smoothly. Nice and easy. Whereas your, um, the small ones are probably going to be probably something like that. Well, shall I open? Really tinky tiny. And have a look. Right, we're nearly out of time. Right, so if you've got on. any stitching you need to do while I open let's this. Let's do this. Okay. Get stitching. So, um, what I wanted to show you, well, the reason why I brought this over, there was a point. <laughs> um, where you can see our designs are crossing over, very similar to our snowflake, you can see that, the, again, the rules haven't changed. You can see at this junction point here, here, and here, none of the stitches touch. And that, that's just that's the golden rule, basically. Um, so even though it's a curved edge, you can see this lovely swooping design here, you're still doing your running stitch, but you just need to pay attention to where your junctions are, which is why it's really handy that you've got that design clear in your fabric, you can just get stitching. Whereas normally with Sashko, this would be in a grid and you'd have to just eyeball it, all right? Okay. So again, I'm just gonna keep going. While now, you're can I show you the difference between the two different um, needles? Here we go. They are short. They are long. Just, just so that you know. They're so pretty. I don't even want to take them out of the the little packaging. Oh, I know. Um, so the short ones are down the bottom. They're six ninety nine. The others are about to sell out. So that's why I've got the short details for you. Gosh, busy, busy, busy. There we go. Fabulous. Love it. I'm concentrating now, I've gone quiet. Yeah, no, I know. So, I've so just... do you count your stitches? I think, yes, I would. Just count them. So I, um, when I've got my needle in the fabric, I can see what I can get away with. Again, depending on the needle, depending on how thick your thread is, you, you, your count would be different. Um, but I know I can get three in there and then two in there. And then it just allows you to be consistent throughout the piece. Yeah, you get a uniformity, Yeah, don't exactly. You? So I've gone around there in four. So this is my last section. So you can see I'm coming up to that junction there. So I know that I need to go under to miss all of those stitches on the top. Mm-hmm. So that's all you're doing, really. You just keep going round. So I got two in there last time, so I need to get two in here. So we're going it's in, quite methodical, isn't out, it? in and out. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And then there's three in that one. One, two, and three. But this is the great thing about having those really super long needles. So you can you can see what you're doing before you commit in stitch, and that's that's the benefit of having those nice long Fabulous. sash needles. And as you get better and better at it, you'll go shorter and shorter and more intricate. Oh yes. Then grab the shorter needles. Details down the bottom of your screen there, six ninety nine. Gosh, what a busy show. Been busy today, hasn't it? Yeah, really busy. Well done for everybody that managed to get everything there. Um, I'm going to take these templates across. Okay. I'm just going to keep stitching. You keep stitching. Thank Thank you. You. You're welcome. By the way, where did that hour go? I have no idea. I have no idea. It just disappeared. But I enjoyed it immensely. Thank you. Thank you ever so much. Am I going over now? Yeah. Try a bit. Thank you. <laughs> Try a bit, Bob. Try a bit, Bob. Ah. Gosh. Christmas templates. Let's talk Christmas templates. Lots of you have been going absolutely crazy for these. Some of the ideas here that you can be making with your Christmas templates once you get going. Sashko just taking the stitching world by storm. Now you're getting four sheets here. It's going to sell out, so please make sure you've got them. Uh, you're getting different designs on each sheet, multiple designs on each sheet. So whatever suits you, brand new, brand new today, only on sewing quarter. Free of you, Channel 78. Um, there it is. Lots of different options. That is the template. Whoops. Oh, someone's toppled over the Christmas tree. $9.99 for all of those. Now, 
over 30. If you have those in your basket, please check out. Do not miss out on these. If you've got your heart set on those templates, please don't mess out. Now, uh, the original templates that we started off, which set the whole sort of ball rolling on these, we also have these. So if you wanted these for your non-Christmas things, then we've got these as well. Again, $9.99, you're getting five sheets with this. But you see, you could do that in red, couldn't you, and have that as a Christmas poinsettia if you managed to get that, um, the new red skein today, which is now, that's sold out now as well. Busy, busy, busy. Um, and then you've got that one, which is a lovely background, but then you see echoed in large here. And then you've also got your borders and your flowers in there. So they're all based on traditional Sashko designs um, and we've just put them in templates for you. So if you don't want to do all the grids, you can just go with the template. Now, whilst we talk templates, we've brought you this lovely idea for Christmas cards. And I really do think this is super, super sweet. Uh, now this is all made using the blue cream white bundle. Okay, but we had to, of course, give you templates that were the right size to fit in the apertures. So with that, you are also going to get this, which is your special ones that come just in this kit, just for the cards, because they are that special size to fit in the apertures. If you manage to get a hold of the, um, the Swarovski crystals, well done, they've now all gone as well really busy this hour uh, so well done on getting those so we've got two different colorways we've seen the blue so that's what we've seen that's what we've got on the whoops half a meter of each of those fabrics in there and your cards and your skein all ready to go um, i am set on just destroying the set with these aren't i absolutely they're just going to get knocked over by me and then if you want your more traditional christmas colors here then we've got those and this is coming with a cream card so it's entirely up to you as to which ones you fancy. But again, $24.99 there, super beautiful. ZZGC61. They are the super special cards on there that you only give to loved ones. Now, Japanese quilting book. We, I love this one. So if it's the first time that you've seen it and you're absolutely loving it, I just love the fact that you've got your traditional, the traditional Sashko jacket there, but in teddy bear form. So it gives you all of the traditional stitches, how to do it, um, and you've also got all your designs. So these are all your traditional ones. But because this, um, the Japanese man that wrote the book, he's also likes to do craft stitching. So you've got applique, you've got quilting, you've got everything else in there. I've got 10 seconds to show you this. Uh, coming up next, brand new CAFE. Well, brand new to me and our brand new magic clips. I will see you after this short break. Follow us on Instagram. Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to get our latest posts. For this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do a running stitch, which is a really simple row of stitches that is creating a nice straight line for you. So we're going to start with the back of the fabric. We're going to bring the needle up through the back to the front and we're going to make a small stitch. Now the size of this stitch would really depend on what it is that you're doing, but I'm just going to keep this to a sort of small to medium sized stitch so you can see where I'm going. So and you can see I've gone in and out of the fabric and I'm going to bring the needle back through to the front with the same distance of the stitch I've just created. I'm going to go back into the fabric and then out of the fabric. So this is great if you need to sew something at home. And there's also another quick method where you can also just use the needle and make several stitches at once by piercing the fabric as you go along. So you can see that I've got three stitches there on my needle already and now I just need to pull that through. So there we have a running stitch. The Sewing Quarter website is simple and easy to use. You can view a live broadcast of the show on our homepage. Get instant access to our online shop, which has a wide range of wonderful products for you to choose from. You can also enjoy a selection of projects and guides, which we have on offer to help you enhance your skills and gain valuable tips. Watch the live shows and you can buy the product which is currently being shown on air. 
You can even message the studio to ask our presenters or team any questions you might have. Below, you'll find all the products from today's show for you to look at and purchase. On the right of the screen, next to today's products, you will find our simple programme guide listing all upcoming shows. So, join us today at sewingquarter.com. Did you know there are multiple ways you can contact us, even if it's just to ask a question? Our friendly team are always on standby. You can call our customer service team at 0800 112 4433, email us at help at sewingquarter.com, visit our Facebook page, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter at Sewing Quarter, and even message us through our website and our presenters will answer your questions live on air. Welcome back to Sewing Quarter. This is our last live hour. Now, we teased you earlier. We like to tease you a little bit. Um, so let me tease you with what we've got coming up. We've got beautiful cave facet fabric coming up. Mmm, stroke the beautiful fabric. But brand new, and we did tease you with this a little bit earlier, magic clips. Yes, yes, yes. Two different sizes for you. We've got large, we've got small, large, small, large, small. Let's start off with the large. Um, right, what are they, I hear you say. We've heard of Wonder Clips, we've got our Wonder Clips. What about Magic Clips? Okay, so with your Wonder Clips, they are absolutely fabulous, don't get me wrong, I'm not dissing Wonder Clips, I think they're great. But Magic Clips are slightly different because, in fact, let me grab some fabric to show you. When you, want, when you Wonder Clip, you, you put that in and you sew, which is all very well and good, but, and look at that nice big mouth there, encompassing all of that fabric. But when I come to sew, I have to move them out of the way. With the magic clips, you just sew. You just sew along there, okay? You've got measurements, so you know how, how far that is. So this is, these are your measurements on there. You've got quarter of an inch, half an inch, and five eighths of an inch. So they are your guidelines, all right? now. Let me show you this in some detail here. So on this actual clip, and we can possibly see it here. Oh, oh look, we've got a little, we've got a little, here we go. Here's our video. We made this. So that is producer Hannah. She's even had her nails done. Sewing straight along, not having to take them out. And off it goes. Yes. So here we go. These here, on here, I don't know how close we can get in on this. Right. You'll notice these give you your measurements. They correspond to that. So that mark there, we need to look there, is a quarter of an inch. That mark there, half an inch, that's five eighths of an inch there. So that tells you along there what those marks are. Now, what producer Hannah and I had to discover was, is it actually quarter of an inch from there to there, or is it including, it includes the eighth of an inch that you sew along the edge? Because obviously you're not gonna sew onto that metal. So you have your, your needle an eighth of an inch away from there to then just sew over, the, over there, and that will do. So there, there is a nice rough guide for you to make sure that you've got your binding or whatever. But the main thing is, as you sew along there, it stays, stays in, stays in, stays in. And you just sew, 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 and you don't have to take it out. Your machine is just going to go, here we go, over the top, which is fab. Here we go. Just like that. So we're not sewing. We're just sewing to the right of the end of the, need, of the, um, of the clip. Loads of those already going. Now we have two size variations. That's your big one. That's $15.99 and you're getting those. So 12 in a packet. There you go. There are your big ones there. Now the small ones. These are your small ones here. 12 again in here. 
There we go. 1399. L O E Q 26. So the same principle. You've still got those measurements on there, but the measurements on these are quarter of an inch and half an inch. And that's the actual marking on the edge of the clip. And then it tells you further up what that measurement is. So 13.99. And actually, it's got, if you, when you get these home, it's got a video on how to use them, which is on the back of the packet there. So it just says, watch the video. And it's got a little clip there to show you exactly how to use them. But you see, there's your clip. There's your sewing machine foot going over the edge of your clip. And then you're stitching just to the side of that clip. Don't stitch onto the metal clip because you break your needle. Stitch just to the side there. But your machine will just glide over the top nice and safely. Here we go, as Hannah did earlier. She was on it this morning. Her and Bex upstairs making videos. There it is. Stitching over the top not having to take anything out, not having to stop, just gliding through, perfect. Keeping your fabric flat, perfect. Perfect, lovely. So if, you, if you're just one of those people that as soon as you have to stop and take out clips, um, it all goes horribly wrong, just get these. Easy, easy, easy peasy. 1399 LOEQ26. These are brand new in today. We have not seen them before. Uh, 1599 for the larger ones. Do you want to see the size difference? There you go. That's your large in comparison to your small. They open up actually really, look at that. There you go, so you can fit all your fabric through there. And you're good to go. Brand new today. Loads of you have got this in your baskets, so you know what I'm gonna say. Please check out your baskets. Don't miss out on these. We knew they were gonna be popular because they are brand new today. So we'll recap on stock as we go throughout the show. But we tried to get as many. That's why we had to wait until 11 o'clock um, to show them to you, because we were trying to get as many checked into the warehouse um, for you, because we knew they were gonna be popular. And we knew that you would get cross if they sold out within like two seconds. So there we go. If you would like to grab these today, We've got the big ones here, and we've also got the little ones for you. $15.99, $13.99, $15.99 for the big ones, 12 in there, $13.99, 12 in the small packet as well. There you go, details on the screen for both. Hurrah! Ready to use, ready to sew, you're good to go. Now, we love our new tools, but we also love K-Facet fabric. <gasps> yes, yes, yes. Now, uh, let's have a look at this. Oh, yes. Snails, there's something so satisfying about that Fibonacci sequence. Here it is in fabric form. This is your lavender spirals. These have only been on once before, $6.99 per half a meter. Yes, you heard right. K facet by the half meter. Happy days. Isn't that beautiful? I didn't get this. I think John got this last time. This is a Philip Jacobs design. So what happens is there's K facet, there's Philip Jacobs and there's Brandon Mabley. And they all work together. They all have different styles, but Kafe is in charge of the color. So if you see any sort of nature, really detailed nature-based ones, that's Philip Jacobs, who's got fine, does lots of fine arty type stuff, um, but he just doesn't like dealing with all the color. So he gives them to Kafe, Kafe sorts out the color, because that's what that man is a genius at. Isn't that beautiful? 6.99 for your Kafe Facet Lavender Spiral Shells. Beautiful, beautiful. And you get to see the different styles working beautifully together. And you get to kind of go, oh no, I know which one of the, he calls it, Cave calls them the three musketeers. And they do, they work brilliantly together. Absolutely love that. So that is, in fact, I'm just gonna give that to Jay to fold. Thank you, Jay. <gasps> right, next up we have got, woo. Oh, is this your favorite? This is another Philip Jacobs. You see, as soon as it's kind of, look at that. Wow. So uh, three fungi, contrast tree fungi. Isn't that just exquisite? We had something like this growing on the side of our house and I went and took a photo of it and people thought I was crazy. Well, no, because it's so beautiful. It's absolutely <coughs> beautiful. 
and detail in it is just exquisite. Really gorgeous. I used to work as a scenic artist and we had to do, um, we got the job of creating massive great big trees for the Lord of the Rings after show party when they wrapped the film and we made these enormous tree trunks and we had to create these on the tree trunks. Just brilliant. So happy memories for me. What beautiful, beautiful fabric. It's all in nature, isn't it? Nature gives you that wow factor. You don't have to look any further than nature. Just exquisite. That is beautiful. <coughs> the little bits of fabric just tickling the back of my throat. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, so this is Kaif. This is, this is the man himself. Look at this. I love this. Oh, just the colors. The guy's a genius with color. Isn't that beautiful? So this is your blue regimental stripe. When we had him on the show, there was this beautiful moment where he'd brought in the actual hand-painted designs. And we just put it next to the fabric. It was exactly the same size, exactly the same colors. It was just magical. $6.99 per half a meter for your K Facet Collective Blue Regimental Stripe. K Facet, you can get charm packs, fat quarters. Yes. Buy the half meter. Mm, not so readily available. And he is a friend of the show. Our buyer saw him in America just the other day, and he said he wanted to come back. Whoa! Look, he even remembered us. That was amazing. Look at these. Wowzers. Your spiral shells again. Whoa! Almost looks like lollipops, doesn't it? Like psychedelic lollipops, like something you'd see off the Magic Roundabout. Yeah, do you know... Yes, from a distance, Patricia, honey, you're so right. From a distance, it just looks like a blast of colour. It's only when you get in, in the detail that you get to see. Look at that. So it's one of those fabrics that looks very different from afar. And then you get in and you see, oh, no, it's not. It's not lollipops. Six ninety nine. It's not what you expect. It's something... We see spirals in nature all the time. Your pine cone, your snail shell, all these sorts of things... And it's just nature's beautiful way of working. And you've got it now in fabric form and a glorious way to have in your house. Something so satisfying about it. We're drawn to it. It's really lovely. $6.99. PTRW73. It's very warming, isn't it? Super, super, super warming. I've got, um, we've got a deep, this deep pink, sort of magenta pink um, in our spare room. And uh, mixing it with the oranges, <coughs> Never something I thought I would do, but I absolutely love it. I've got all sorts of cave cushions in our spare bedroom. Love it. Oh, gorgeous. And with that blue and that green as well, just exquisite. But then, you see, he'll go and do something really fun like this. I love this one. Now, we were saying the other day, different cushions for different times of year. This is a spring one, isn't it? Look at that. It's like a burst of sun rays, isn't it? With a flower in the middle. So that's your yellow sunburst. Oh, there you go. He even calls it sunburst. Six ninety nine. I spotted these when we went down to the warehouse. I was like, why have I not had those on my show yet? Why, why, why? And here they are. Why, 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 Delaney, yeah. So this is your sunburst. Could you imagine a little girl's dress out of that? It'd be so pretty. So pretty. So it's more of a pastel palette there, but you've still got some of those fabulous deep colours coming through, those rich colours. Jay, I'm really rubbish at folding this. There you go. Sorry. Oh, a recap on my magic clips. Gosh. Okay. A third of the stock in both sizes has gone. Please check out your baskets. Don't leave. Do you want to? Oh, they're here. Ta-da. Um, we need to answer a question as well, apparently. So if you want the big ones, they're $15.99. <coughs> and the small details coming down the bottom. Carol's messaged in. Yes, Carol, the sewing machine feet go over the, over the top of the clips. You don't take them out. So you just position your needle so that the needle doesn't hit the, the clips, okay? It just goes to one side. Check this out. So look. 
The advantage is you can keep them in, you don't have to take them out. So especially if you're doing your binding, that's really handy. But you see the foot of the, of the machine going over those clips, not damaging the machine, <coughs> and making it easy. Happy days. Third of the stock on both those sides, checked out, gone, done. Loads of you with them in your baskets. If you've got any other questions, please do get in touch. I will happily attempt to answer any questions. We've played with them and we love them. Yes. Talking of loving things. Here we go. Look at this. Uh, let's get this right way up. Now, this is your trefoil. Trefoil? Trefoil? Jay's just nodding. Yes. Either which way? Yes. Yeah. It's not a magic mushroom, Director Tim. No. They're like little, look, they almost look like little clouds, and then they look like little trees. <coughs> They've got lots of different things. Look at that. It's just really rather beautiful. I just, I love the effects of that. Can we see this from afar as well? Because again, it's another one of those ones that just looks so different further off. I'd love a maxi dress in this. Yeah. Or a skirt or something. Something where you get to really appreciate all of the colour and the big print on that. Oh, it's delightful. What are you going to do with them? Can you message in and let us know? Maybe this is going to be um, the backing of your quilt. Could be, couldn't it? So then the back's as beautiful as the front. What's it going to be? Message in. You can message the studio online or you can send us a, an email, which is studio at sewingquarters.com. Maybe you've got... <coughs> Sorry, maybe you've got, come on, Jay, you can reach in and get that. Uh, maybe you've got some um, photos to share. I don't know why that was so difficult for me to say. I was thinking about whether or not, Jay, it'd be easier if you went over there so that you could grab them from there. I don't know. Whee! Stripes! Now, this is your regimental stripe again. I'm going to show it from this direction this time. I was also thinking about this. Were these a different stripe? You know we had that massive, great big stripe quilt. Are these the same stripes or different? I think they're different. Oh, no, they are different because they were yarn dyed, those stripes, and this isn't yarn dyed. But Cave does like a stripe, whichever which way up you go. It is a classic in it. Yeah. There you go. In those lovely warm colours. How can he put reds and pinks and oranges together and it looks so good? Just don't understand. Can we have a play with these later when we've gone through them all, Producer Hannah, and see what goes with what? Yeah, good. Excellent. Oh, the tree fungi. He's a fungi. Uh, there is only three meters until we reorder, if indeed we can. So the tree fungi is here. It's incredibly beautiful. Are you one of those people that likes to go for walks in woods and then just marvel at all the things that nature does? Yeah, it does stuff like this. Hannah's nodding. Producer Hannah's nodding. There you go. It's really beautiful. And yet, you see, if you took just the central piece of one of those, it would almost look like a pansy, wouldn't it? That is just delightful. I'm enjoying that an awful lot. Well, beautiful colours as well. Quite a cool palette, unusually, for Cave. So six ninety nine. we only have, was it three or four metres, did you just say, Patrice Hannah? Three metres, I thought it was three. Uh, three metres, that are six units before we reorder. Oh, less now, well done. Two metres now, well done, if you were that person that just grabbed another metre. Until we're able to order it, if indeed we can. Kaif is a very hard-working man. He's amazing for 80, isn't he? I mean, wow, gosh. Oh, a metre and a half remaining. Please check out your baskets. Do not miss out on this. Right. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Here we go. Now we're getting into different colourways. Love this. Hey, if you've got a kid that loves colour, what about this for their curtains? Eh. 
look at that. Or even if you just wanted to do some cushions for your kids' room and inject a bit of colour in your little producer Hannah's living room. Oh, yeah, you said this the other day, didn't you? Producer Hannah's very sensible. She's got cream and grey <coughs> and, and uh, painted in a cream walls and grey skirted boards, which means that she can then um, put colour everywhere. And I think she does. I don't think that she's afraid of colour at all. Six ninety nine, fabulous. Whoa. It's just that vibrancy, isn't it? It's just brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant. There you go, Jay. You can fold that bit better than I can. Thank you. Oh, I like the turquoise in this. I can feel another maxi dress needing to come on with this one. These do look like little trees. Different night out. Bit of fun fabric. $6.99. I do like these. But I love that, uh, that, um, that sort of minty green in the background, that teeny minty green. It's really rather fabulous. BJRW26. Uh, I do want the, can you imagine that as a, as a maxi dress? Brilliant. Ba, ba, ba. See, I've gone from not liking dresses to wanting dresses and everything. I like maxi dresses, though. <coughs> uh, yeah, that's what I mean. I love my back wind dress and a maxi dress. That's what I'm happy in. Rachel says, I have the three different sunburst fabrics and I'm going to make a patchwork quilt with them. Good job. Yes. Oh, yeah. So we've had a look at two of those. I don't know if I've got another one in my pile. I'll have a look. Ooh, Rachel, you might be ahead. No, we've only got the two of those today. The other one must have sold out. Now, this is one. These, these stripes, the zigzaggy stripe, uh, the moving zigzag. Moody zigzag. Is that what it's called? Oh, this is one of Brandon's. Moody. Moody, moody. Moody zigzag. I don't know why it's feeling moody today, but it is. Moody colours. But that's your moody zigzag. It's almost like moonlit zigzags. It's those sort of moonlight colours. But uh, Brandon Mabley calls them moody. And we'll go with that. So Kate does the colour. Brandon does the design on this particular one. So there's Brandon, there's Kate, and there's um, Philip. And they all work together on these designs to bring you a real fabulous different range of ideas and designs. But all of it is held together by Kate's colourways. Oh, the tree fungi has sold out. Well done. And my lavender spiral shell. Right, okay, so I've got sell out Jay on hand. Well done, sell out Jay. He, he, you know, it's his little nickname that I wear for him. Um, not in a nasty way, just that he's always on hand for a sell out. Now we've got a meter and a half, just a meter now of this. Woohoo, until we reorder, if indeed we can reorder. We don't know. Has this been in a kit or anything? I mean, this is just gone, just flown. This is just by the half metre. Okay, producer Anna says, Tash, just try looking at it. That's why. Yeah. Yeah. Now that is just glorious. So you've got your lavenders. You've got that blue in there, which is just saying, hello. That's really rather fabulous in there. It's, it really stands out, doesn't it? But you see, we've also got, if you're after a bit of spiral, look at the difference colour makes. Same design, but how much warmer? And we've only got five meters of this. Is this your favorite one? Yeah, you see, producer Hannah loves a bit of orange. But it just, it's, it's oh, the warmth in that. And yet you still have those cool blasts of turquoise and blue through there. Stunning. There you go. You see, look how different they are. Same design, different colours. Beautiful. So I mean, we haven't even finished getting to the bottom of our pile yet and already they're selling out. So that's how quick you've got to be this morning. Please do check out your baskets. Um, I'm going to give that to you. Sell out, Jay, because that's going to sell out. 
We couldn't even bring you all of them because some of them sold out before we even got them to air today. They went out last time. I'm blaming John for that. I'm assuming it was John Shea. Was it John or was it Amy? It was John. We'll blame John. John, how dare you do your job so well? Oh, producer Hannah, can you mix this through for your um, Caribbean-inspired Christmas? <coughs> it's those happy colours. Now, surely, hang on, what's Brandon's calling this one? Because if the other one was moody, what's this one? Bright. It's true. Can't argue with it. See, how do they put those colours together? It's just brilliant. Looks like opal fruits. Doesn't it? Do they still have opal fruits? I oh, know they call them starbursts now, don't they? You see, floor manager Jay's looking at me like, what are you talking about? It's because they've changed the name. It's like Snickers used to be marathons. No, he doesn't know what they are either. Six ninety nine. Oh, working with whippersnappers. Um, eighty R W sixty. Fabulous. Yeah, you're a child of the nineties, aren't you, Jay? Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Uh, so different colorways there. Moody or bright? Moody or bright? What do you fancy? Oh, in a yellow. Yes, yes. Here we go. Do you like this one, Producer Hannah? You like a bit of yellow very often? Yes. Very nice. You can't be sad with fabric like that, can you? Brilliantly bright and cheery. If yellow is your thing, yellow sometimes <coughs> a little bit of an acquired taste, but this yellow, look at this. This yellow, you, um, you see you've got those colours through in that zigzag, haven't you? You have. Yeah, they're all in there. All in there, all through. Uh, right, there we go. So, uh, your zigzag fabric down there and your yellow fabric, $6.99. What is a, a trefoil? I feel it's some sort of tree or something. It's some sort, can we, can we have a look? I think it's something, something in nature like in it. Right. Okay. Oh, hello. This is a little bit different. A European plant from the tree family, pea family. Oh, well, in all of our thinkings of what it could be, no one said pea, did they? No, they didn't. Now, we know that um, Kaif went through, a, can you imagine this? Kaif went through a period of, of, of his life where he just worked in white, purely in white, no colour, just white. And then he's got a real thing for blue and white china. So this doesn't surprise me at all. Here we go. So this is your Delft pots. But again, it's that black, classic blue and white, isn't it, coming through. So the Delft ware is your blue and white pottery. That came from producer Hannah. She's like having a pub quiz know it all in my ear. She knows it all, which is brilliant. No, I know, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, I didn't know. You see, I was thinking, I couldn't remember what it was called. So no, you're, you're, no, it's good. It's good to have these facts. Not at my fingertips, at Hannah's fingertips and in my ear. She knows, and now you know. I think it's, I love this one. Would you applique these, take these out and applique bits? You could. Yeah, you could do like the flower pot cushion like we did when Kaif was in. Shelves with pots on. Yes, you could actually lay it out like a whole tea party, couldn't you? Yeah. So this is crying out for a spot of applique. Or you could have, um, if you were doing a table runner, you could just take different elements. It would be quite, or a little, um, a little mat for a tray. You could have a little teapot or a couple of, yeah. Six ninety nine for your blue Delft pots. Fabulous. 
I would really like to uh, nose around in Kay Fassett's house. Yeah, but he's got everything. All because all of his china and everything. He doesn't have matching china. He has all different china, so it's very eclectic. But everything will go. Do you want to see it in the red and the yellow as well? Shall I show those and then we've got them all? all oh, then we've got them all. Oh, we've got green as well. Okay, so this is it in red. Is it still called Delft? Yeah, it is still called Delft, even though it's not in the, because that's what's inspired it. Oh, look at that. That's a whole different feel, isn't it, with the red? That feels really opulent. The other was lovely and cool. This feels very opulent and rich. 6.99, IJRW50. Woohoo, I like. Have you got a favorite, Jay? Mm, are we yet to get to it? Yeah, we've yet to get to it. So that's the red one. Some people make reds work beautifully in their homes. I've got a friend that is all their home is reds and purples and it's just it's just so warming and gorgeous when you walk in is this yours or the green the green should we do yellow next uh producer hannah is the yellow one your favorite yes of course it's the favorite of producer hannah wow i like that actually um if you were mixing your designers you know what that would look lovely with you know we had the anna maria horner social climber with the yellow background it's, it's sort of reminiscent of that in a little way Similar background colour with the, with the yellow. But again, there you've got that classic blue and white. I'm back, you see, because Kaif, um, being a fine artist as well, he paints all his own walls. He'll, he'll paint murals on his walls. So um, I know that in, I think it's his sitting room, he's got roses that he's painted and then have made into fabrics and upholstered his furniture in. It's really amazing to be Kaif. Uh, right, so that's, we've got blue, we've got red, we've got yellow. And is this your favourite, Jay? Floor manager Jay is all about the green today. It's quite restful, isn't it, green? Look at that. Green and pink. What a stunning combination. It's almost glowing luminous, isn't it? That's brilliant, $6.99 for your green Delft pots in green. They are glowing. How can green glow like that? That's just incredible. But you've still got those fabric, you've still got those roses in the background. So you've got now four different colorways. <coughs> Very well, we haven't looked at all the other colors yet. So we've got four different colors. So, which ones are you going for? The blue, the red, the yellow, or are you going for that amazing green? That's Jay's favorite. Yeah. Maybe you want a little bit of each. They'd mix, they'd mix and match beautifully. Right, now, oh yes. Oh, no, this is what you need. Producer Hannah, look. So then you've got your stripe. Oh, you want a shirt in this? Maybe we should do you a shirt in this, producer Hannah, or a dress or something, and then we should do John a shirt in this and stand you next to each other. But look at those together. <laughs> I love those two together, that's brilliant. Yeah, that's the one, isn't it, Jay? That's the one. It's picking out all those colors all through there, but then you've got the pink pulled through there, the blue that you've got in there that you barely even notice, but yes, hello, it's there. There it is. Fabulous. Just great. I'm enjoying that. I'm going to keep that stripe down for a minute. Yes, I am. I'm keeping it down. Uh, I can't fold. There you go. Uh, because this. Oh. Mm, actually, any of these. <gasps> what an absolute treat this is. 
look at this. <laughs> I'm just enjoying it. It's just circling. Um, if, if you... Uh, I need to applique these flowers. Look at that. If you, if you were bold enough to have that as curtains, yes. Producer Hannah says, bedroom curtains. Crazy nice. But then if you were upholstering, you could, um, you could do sort of the front of, the, like the main seat of the chair in this, and then you could do the sides and the stripes. I'm enjoying those together. Oh, yes. But we don't have it in just that colorway. We've got it in three different colorways, and they're all going to go with the stripe. Well, no, actually, they're not all going to go with the stripe. These two will go with the stripe. Hee hee hee. Whoa, check that out. That is rather fabulous. Green and pink, I love green and pink together. Would this go with my green pots? 690, yeah. Look, Jay's like, yeah, quick, get those green pots back on. That would work with the green pots, wouldn't it? It all works, I like. Yeah, no, I do want all three. Uh, well, I, no, I just want to, uh, like, personally, yes, I'd quite like all three, but on the screen, let's see if I can do this so you can see all three colourways. Shall I do that at a, at a jaunty slant? Yes. Right, so on your screens, you've got your magenta rose, which is this. Oh, they're rose clouds. And then you've got your stripe down the bottom. I'm loving that stripe. But you see, then all of a sudden, I'm going to be honest, I wasn't that keen on the green just by itself. But when you put it with all of these, it just changes the focus of it. And I absolutely love that with all of those now. Yeah, a patchwork quilt out of these. It'd be brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And it's just by mixing that through. The grain by itself, it needed these. For me, it needed these to just bring it to life and make it quirky and fabulous. Ah, yes. We've got another one. Uh, Producer Hannah, get ready because these are your colours. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Woohoo! Are they your colours or not, Producer Hannah? Yellow, yes. Yes, they are. Actually, a bit autumnal, these, aren't they? I thought because it was yellow, it was going to be really, really bright, but it's actually quite autumnal. Oh, it's actually gold. Gold rose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's have a play again with these. So if you've got that, would you... Mm, no, 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 I wouldn't go that one. What about those, your pea plant? Could you work it through with that? What do you think? Did that work? It's, it's bold. That's like when I get my hair cut and my mum says, it'll grow. And you go, that means you really hate it, doesn't it? Um, it's all of this is personal taste, isn't it? Once you start working with colour, it's personal taste. And, and it's about not... It does depend how much of each you put in a design. It might be that actually that's just your border, that you just put a border of that round, that that's the main event. And then, or maybe you want to put a border of, of that one through. It, it just depends how you want to play with these. I'm just trying to see what other... Bright zigzag... Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you see those two together, you see, yeah. If that was the binding, then you'd go with that, would you, Patricia Hannah? So then you've got, you've got your big, yeah. 
But then what would happen if, I'm just throwing it out there. Can you play with that? Would that work? With the stripe, works with the stripe, doesn't it? Let's get those. I'm going to give those to Chris to, because um, I, I now want to have a little play as to what goes with what. So we've got, have we got, actually, we've got, let's just check quickly whether or not we've still got stock of this. So you've got your bright zigzag. More people have this in their baskets than we have available with your spirals. So if you're after your bright spiral, your orange spirals, I'm going to remove that from there because then it's gone. Well done. Not, now not an option. Thank you for messing with my colorways. <coughs> That's okay. It's okay. I can cope with this. Uh, because I'm going to throw in this one. Look at that. That's the way. Producer Hannah, look at that. Yeah, I like that. I really like that. Yes. And I reckon that you could use the pea plant one down there as well. Yeah, that's how those colours are going. Oh, yes. Nice. Very nice. Keith has all the colours, doesn't he? It's just like he's stolen all the colours. Yep, I'll have that, that, and that, and that, and that. Well, he's saying, his, his saying is, isn't it, if in doubt, add 20 more colours. Do you think he was in doubt here? He's added them. He's added them all. Uh, so that's that choice. Susanna, can I play with some more? Yeah! Excellent. I'm making these boys fold everything. Well, I was just going to have a little go with some stripes. I'm going to do them in colour families, sort of. So, well, sort of, as much as there is a colour family when he's used all the colour. So this is your... Is it your bright starburst? Yes. Oh, the other one's your yellow one. Good, I'm glad you're on the... You're on the... Produce Hannah knows what she's talking about. Yeah. Woohoo. Now, the bright starburst, nine metres of that left. Don't know if we're reordering, if we can reorder or not, or if Kaif's moved on to the next thing. Like, yeah, done that. Red regimental stripe is there. What about that? In there as well. Uh, I know you haven't got enough graphics, but I just wanted you to see, because I'm, I'm building a quilt. So this, this one is your trefoil, the pea, the pea plant one. Trefoil, trefoil, however you want to say it. Tomato, tomato, trefoil, truffle, whatever it is, that one, um, is not on the screen yet. Brilliant. <laughs> we'll get that up in a minute. This one is your sunburst, which is there. Your stripe was down there, but now your trefoil, trefoil, your pea plant one is coming in now. Hooray. That's fabulous. Director Tim says that it looks like Hannah's hair because she's got wonderful hair. She's like, yeah, it looks like your silhouette. Oh, oh, did John say that? Oh. No, I think, I think that's a compliment. You've got fabulous hair. <laughs> mm, she says. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not saying you look like a pea plant. Oh, this is all going horribly wrong, isn't it? Uh, oh, there we go. Right, okay. Before let's let's just try and dig our way out of that one. Um, oh, here we go. Let's try these together. Oh, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. 
Stand back, one more to throw into the mix. Look at this. I'm, I'm not sure. What do you think? You like it with the stripes, not with the starburst. I'm with you. Let's get rid of the starburst. <laughs> That's a beautiful shot, isn't it? Well, I did just get rid of it. Just get rid of it. It's not working for me. Just get rid of it. Uh, okay. Let's try this like that. What do you think? Yes? Those two together? I would never have put these sorts of things together, but it works. Oh, I'm not Kaif, so, you know, that's why. Mm, 6 99 each of these by the half meter. How lucky are we? If you got the spiral, I know we don't have any of the spiral left. I know it's sold out, but I'm just, just saying, if you got the spiral, ooh, just saying. Oh, and actually, yeah, your trefoil also in there with that. Nice. All these things, if you are in any doubt as to the name or the color or anything, do head to the website. All of these are on the website underneath where we're live. You can see all of these there and have a good old play. We, we, I mean, yeah, we've only renamed them slightly. Now, let's have a look at these blues, shall we? So we've got the regimental stripe here. Are we calling this moody or not? Or just blue? It is called Moody. Yay, Moody Stripe. No, it's Regimental Stripe. It's the Moody Zigzags. But the Moody, the Moody Zigzags. Let's have a look at this with the Moody Zigzags. Yeah. What goes on in Kay Fassett's head? It's just a riot of color, isn't it? Absolute riot. Brilliant. A question from Estelle. She says, good morning. Love the colours. What is the width of the repeat on the spiral cafe orange, please? Oh, it's already been taken away. Um, but I'll see if I, can, if I can grab it and have a little measure. Let's have a quick look at those and I'll, uh, I'll see... There we go. Ha ha. So you've got moody zigzag there. You've got your regimental stripe there. And then you've got your pots, which we'll show you later. But it's just to give you an idea on how these all work together. Actually, if I take those out for a minute, because you can all these are on the website. Just a quick yay or nay. Producer Hannah, what do you think? Can we work that in or not? It's got personal taste. That means no from you. Excellent. I love how, when did, oh yeah, you see, floor manager Chris says yes, he likes that. But I do like, producer Hannah, how, um, how you know, discreet you've come. Now, uh, tape measure. Chris, can I give you those, please? Uh, because Estelle's asked a question. Right, I can't put any graphics in for this because uh, we've sold out of it, but you want the repeat. So, but, but, but do you want it in centimetres or inches, Estelle? I'll try and give it to you in both. So the pattern repeat goes from there to there, and that is 28 centimetres, which is 11 inches. There you go. Yeah. Hopefully you managed to get it because otherwise that's not going to be much help. To you is it so yeah just over just over quarter of a meter repeat so hopefully you got that there you go i'll give you that uh right now oh okay what have i got left does that work with that hmm i think it might let's have a look uh blue pots what do we call them? Delft. Delftware. Come on, give me your history, producer Hannah. Come on, you know this stuff because this is what your degree's in. We're not in pots, but it's in art history. <laughs> Shan said, everyone knows that. It's a thing. <coughs> you see, I grew up, my mum had Asiatic pheasant, so blue and white for me was always Asiatic pheasant. Blue and white, but Delft. Is that the Chinese? Because you also get the, um, 
Oh, it's Dutch. Because you also get the, um, the twa, is it, no, hang on. What's the one with the, um, oh, you get all sorts of different blue and white prints, but there you go, this is your Delft wear. And I quite like it with this. I didn't think I was going to, but I do, because look, you've got that color in the background there. No, you're not loving that one, Patricia Hannah? Would you actually, thinking about it, just a thought, like, you know the, the pea plant ones? The trefoil? Trefids, that's what I'm thinking. That's the word, tref, and they're like little insects, aren't they, trefids? That's why I'm struggling with what they're called. Trefoil, trefoil, tre pea plant ones, these ones. You could mix the patterns, couldn't you? That would look nice. I've almost got, I've almost got the pattern of peat there. Ooh. Uh, multicolored one there, red one there. Six ninety nine. There are so many multiple ways to play with these. That's the joy of it. Uh, new floor manager, Chris. Have you seen much kaf before? Bit of a joy to the eyes, isn't it? Yeah, he's sort of gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once you work with it, it's beautiful. It's so soft to work with, and really just. I think it must have quite a high thread count because the quality of the cotton is really fabulous and I think that must be down to having quite a high thread count in there to get that softness and to be able to get that vibrancy and that print on there. But just look at that. I don't know what the thread count is so don't, don't message in and ask me because I don't actually know but it just, it just feels beautifully soft. Um, is that too much? Why am I asking? It's cave. is it too much? I don't know, is that too much? Ah, producer Hannah loves the yellow pots. Would you do yellow pot, blue pot? I don't know, well, no, you see, because like, I didn't know if that would work because you've got your yellows and your greens. You see, this is where it's lovely, because when you get the overhead camera, it gives you a whole different take on it. And actually, yes, I didn't know if I would like it from upside down and back to front as I am. But yeah, no, I like that. Because you've got, you've got the colours. You've got the uh, most ridiculous thing to say with Cave, isn't it? You've got the colours. Yes, yes, you have. This is what you wanted to see, wasn't it, Patrice Hannah? Yeah, no, I like those two together as well. Out of all the pots, I like those two best together, I think. So, blue delft pots and yellow delft pots. There they are. All the pots, many a pot. It's potastic, 6 99 per half metre. Please may I have some of those fabrics back, Chris, now that you've folded them. Well, it is the thing, I'm afraid. I'm going to unfold them again. Just going to happen. You can't get precious about it. Uh, right. So that one's gone. Well done on getting that. Um, if you wanted to put your blue stripe, that's going to work. Um, all of these are on the website. So if I just put them all out here, then you can have a, a good look. There might You might see something that we hadn't seen before. Actually, oh, Controversially, I like that and that together. Don't know if we can come across to any of that. Wee, I like those two together. Yeah. Hmm. Um, yep, yep, yep. If you just, it, you know, just throwing colours around, you just, you find different things, don't you? All six ninety nine per half a meter. Hannah's giving up on giving you graphics because I'm just throwing them all out all over the place. But this is the joy. If you're doing a patchwork cushion, why not? Why not do something crazy like this? Get all the colours, get them all out there, and it might look. Can we do this from a? Can we do this from above? Yay! Some of these are sell out, but just. Imagine that in patchwork form. 
feel like I've created something there, other than a mess. I've created that too. But it just gives you an idea that you see, we've, we've put them into sort of color families, but actually you can mix them through. You see suddenly those two are working really nicely together. And then you could work those three together. And you start to see different things. But, oh, yeah. Can we, okay, so before we finish, can we just give the cloud flowers one last airing? Because look at these. The size of these is very unusual, isn't it, Producer Hannah, to get something that big in terms of actual print size? Yeah. Oh, Estelle says, thank you for the measurement. Absolute pleasure, my love. Anytime, just let us know what we can help you with. Can I measure the flowers for you? Do you want to see the pattern of print on the flowers or the actual size of the flower? Let's go for this one because it's in front of me. So from top to bottom, you are looking at 24 and a half centimetres from top to bottom. That's, a, that's nearly a quarter of a metre in size, that flower. Fab. So if you want that as a pattern repeat, because of course you're buying this in, in the half meter, if you want that in a pattern repeat, you're looking at a 40 centimeter pattern repeat. That's big. That is big. Absolutely love it. Right, uh, magic clips. I'm gonna get one out. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. These are the large ones. Two sizes, brand new today. These are your magic clips. And the way they differ from Wonder Clips is that you can sew, you, uh, you clip your fabric in there, and then your foot of your sewing machine goes over there so you don't have to take them out. You do not have to take these out. You align your needle so that your sewing line goes just to this side here, not on the metal, just to this side here. You've got um, markers there so that you can line everything up the same distance. Big ones, you get 12 in each pack. Big ones there, $15.99. Little ones down the bottom there, $17.99 for little ones. And here's the video of how they work. So just look at that, gliding over the top. You've just got to make sure that your sewing machine foot and your bobbin are properly installed. And off you go. Ta-da! Fabulous, aren't they? Brand new today. Lots of you have got these in your baskets. Nearly half the stock has gone. They are brand new today. Aired today for the very first time. Only came to wear at 11 o'clock today. Please check out your baskets if you're after these. So these are the measurements on the larger one. You have got a um, quarter of an inch, half an inch, and five-eighths of an inch. And then on the smaller one, you've got half and quarter of an inch on the smaller ones. There they are. So they're $13.99 and you get 12 of those. I like these. I like these an awful lot. Hey, should we see what we've got coming up tomorrow? So tomorrow I am back with a lot of you have been talking about these and asking when we're going to bring them. Did I get the wrong tree? This one, either one. Dee, dee, dee. So we've got these Christmas trees coming up tomorrow. Lots of you have been asking about this. So, 3D Christmas tree, that's it. 8 a.m. 3D Christmas tree tomorrow. Um, 9 a.m. is Tasha's tablet cover. Yes, I will be making those. If you've seen them on my Facebook page and you've loved the fabric, Tula Pink Fabrics, just stunning. Her latest range, 9 a.m. And then 10 a.m. we've got our Toy Box Masterclass. And then we've got at 11 a.m. storage solutions. So if you've ever missed any of our storage, who's that with tomorrow? Joe Carter's with the Toy Box Masterclass. So if you've ever missed any of our goodies, it's all there tomorrow. Oh, that sort of Christmas, isn't it? Wrapped up in a, in a big, fabulous Christmas tree bow. If you did get, if you got what, Producer Hannah? Oh, your Christmas uh, Sashko templates. Sorry, I don't know what you're talking about there. Then do check out your baskets. Make sure it was had such a busy show today. Thank you ever so much for your company. Check out those baskets. Don't miss out. And I will see you bright and early tomorrow. Bye-bye. Watch the talented Joe Carter create a festive 3D Christmas tree this Wednesday, the 15th of November. 
Using fabrics from the Tilda Cottage collection, Jo will bring this tabletop decoration to life at 8am. Designed by Tina O'Rourke, the tree can be embellished with mini gifts too. Tune in to see all of Jo's top tips. Then at 10am, we have Jo's Toy Box Masterclass. Jo shares her sewing expertise with her favourite kits and covers techniques to achieve a professional finish on these unique toys. So, tune in on Wednesday the 15th of November from 8am and watch Joe in action only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78.